and see if the whole thing totally implodes. Is this working? Did you, can you guys still see me? Normal shirt and hat. It's all gone. It's all gone. My clone. Which one? I have so many. I mean, I'm I'm always the same guy. All right. I think I'm I think I'm live on YouTube now. For the first time ever. But I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna check it out. doesn't seem to be working. It's a, does it work? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Look. That's so cool. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Actually working. That's crazy. All right. Sick. All right. That's if so you cool. guys, um, if it's not working on... Uh, on Twitch here, because obviously there's not going to be that many people watching on YouTube today because of. Uh, well, well, we'll see what happens, obviously, but I, I, I'm not expecting that many people. So if you guys start like losing frames or something, I might stop the, the YouTube one. See your chat in YouTube. Yeah, so I'd, you're not allowed to merge the chat. So this chat box will just be the Twitch one. But um, I have if you behind the camera box here, I can see everyone's chats. So like, uh, if I write this, you can see where my, where I was, I can see from up in the top right that I can see everyone's chat. So if anyone does come in from YouTube, I'll be like, oh my God. But I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not expecting any, any, uh, <laughs> any crazy shit. <laughs> so yeah, here we go. All right, sweet. It's exits clear. Okay, Amelia, we've got two laps to get the job done. I mean, all the YouTubers wow, are going to have to put wow. up with... <laughs> without being able to contribute to it whatsoever. So there you go. Unlucky YouTube. It's all right, we're only, I'm only gonna get maximum two viewers. There you go. I, I doubt there's gonna be that many people though. Because my YouTube channel is pretty fucking small. All right. Wait, I should be cheesing the tires, shouldn't I? Okay, let's just reset. Should be doing tire stuff. It takes it is clear. Don't cross the line. Okay, let's do tire stuff. Never go above two hundred. Dario's TTS alerts were fucking up, so here you are. <laughs> I was Dario live as well. Nice. So yeah, let's get these bloody races won, man. It's just GT3 fixed on IMSA. IMSA GT3 fixed and GTE sprint. So we're going to get this one now, I think. I think we, we have a good chance now in this one. Won't be easy, but it's a better chance than the race we were in yesterday. All the GT3 sweats move to GTP. I don't know, man. <laughs> it feels weird. It feels a bit empty. But this is IMSA fixed, so in the open IMSA, there'll be more um, top level guys than in here. IMSA fix is a bit of a weird one, to be honest, in general. They just need to stop them overlapping because it's. They need to stop them overlapping and then get rid of LMP2 fixed and then there'll be a lot more people signing up for it. Alright, let's do it. Whew.
Oh, no ball. Shit. My first YouTube chat. What? That's crazy. Change your name to not dog yourself. <laughs> Let's go. Double chatter. Oh, that's MV3. Oh, nice one, man. At least I have one view on YouTube. Yeah, I can't see how many people are watching on YouTube, but... Double streamer. I'm, I'm multicasting or what the fuck. Multi-streaming. Duo streaming. Cross streaming. For the first time in history. Simulcast, yeah. I'm a sim simul simulcaster. I'm simulcasting sims. I'm a sim simulcaster. Fuck. Similar mail casting. Like the possibility of going back to see a crash show on YouTube. Hey, second show on YouTube. What? 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 I, I should probably be focusing on fucking driving, man. Go buy a new shirt. How did you? How did you know? How did you know? You've just done a one fifty nine point six seven. But that lap was horrible. Fuck, this one's gonna be terrible as well. Red for YouTube. That wasn't the idea. I just didn't want to wear the same shirt again because it was getting smelly. It's everywhere. What's up, Duncan? It's different from here. Come see. <laughs> Uh, a hundred, a hundred plus? No, I don't have, I, just, I have two of those shirts, I think. I mean, I have two of those shirts. Ah. What's changed then to allow people to stream on both? Um, I YouTube yours. <laughs> What changed? They changed the uh, the rules, man. They changed the rules. As long as I don't like actively direct people to YouTube and put like combined alerts from Twitch and from YouTube and then the put them on Twitch, then it's fine. And chat as well. So like the text box on this camera up there, it's still only chat uh, from Twitch. Okay, well, I mean, I'll take a six tenths on pole. I'll absolutely take that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. That's the end of the session. Pole position. Well done. Pole position. Ba 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 ba. Bing 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 bing. Ba 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 Good. Well, I'm on pole by six tenths. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I can't complain. I mean, I have like twice as much eye rating as anyone else in the race, apart from Gregor, but he qualified seventh. It's not about the number, it's what you do with it.
right? Restream made new rules. Twitch made new rules for um, for multi simulcasting or multi streaming or multi casting or simul streaming, whatever you want to call it. Another P2 stream. No, I put it in the title. No more P2s. Okay. Be an interesting race. It should be. It should be pretty interesting. Okay, look at that, man. It's quite a nice view from here, actually. It's quite it's almost graphically nice, graphically pleasing to look minutes. at. The track temp is 22. The air temp no is mods on YouTube. Celsius. I mean, look, the only people on YouTube at the moment are people who subscribe to me, and there's Follow not the that many of those. 25. There's only like 200, column. I think. So we'll see. Wait, there's only one LMP2. <laughs> Fucking lol. The LMP2 is just following the GTPs and seeing how high he can get up the <laughs> the order. The lone wolf. Uh, wait till they all go around the corner. You can write in YouTube. Catch up to the guy ahead. Yeah, it's a lawless wasteland in YouTube. Who knows what will happen? Anything could happen. Oh, we're quite far behind the is whatever, it's fine. Less lag on YouTube than Twitch, is there? I have noticed my Twitch is a bit laggy. Maybe it's on the wrong mode or something. Is there different modes on, on Twitch for this kind of stuff? Just missing emotes, yeah. When I don't know when you can upload emotes. Can you just upload emotes like from the from the beginning? I'll get those on. You can get them synced. Okay, well, I need to get them synced. Yeah, it's so cool, man. I, I, this chat box, I could just add it to caps and I can see where, like, it combines both the chats for me to see. And I can see who's, uh, so I can just, uh, reply. It's quite good. Combo chat, yeah, exactly. It's really good. But I'm not allowed to show it on screen, unfortunately. That is like one of the one of the rules that Twitch has around this. Is he just gonna fuck off? Come back here, Unai. I mean I could just go now. Well whatever.
Okay, Emilio, here we go. Green okay, green, green. off we go. Nice start. It's a bit awkward being on the left side on pole position here. When you're starting in the GTs. I feel like iRacing should have a system where the GTs start, have a separate pace car. Like each class has a separate pace car. And they start at separate times. I mean, I'm sure it'd be a bit of a nightmare to code, probably, but. Sweet start, mate. Keep it coming. Would be, would be the ideal solution. So you don't just start somewhere randomly around the track. In GT. Well, off we go, though. Nothing stopping anyone from going. Yeah, exactly. GT should start ahead. <laughs> it's been asked for many times. Yeah, I'm sure. We riot, maybe. By the time the GT3 start, the GTPs will be lapping them. I mean, you could just like wait forever and basically already be a lap behind, right? If you're GT. I mean, there's no limit to how far you can drop behind the GTPs. Should not be that hard to implement, yeah. It's so weird being on two platforms at the same time. I should I should open a kick account and get 95% sub split. Bam! Gonna get so many subs on kick. <laughs> You're hard to implement. Epic burn. Having P2 being penalized for going before P1, yeah. Yeah, because you can get away with some really outrageous shit if you're P2 in a GT or in a in a lower class, in non not the highest class. Okay, we got a 1.1 second gap. That should be out of tow range now. Two weirdos watching on YouTube. Hi, YouTube weirdos. Good one. Good one. You're not weirdos, I promise. Although it's probably just... Is it? It's probably just people from... <laughs> from Twitch, anyway. Yeah, they are. Oh, no. We're going to have a massive war now between my two YouTube viewers and uh, my entire Twitch chat. See, Rick's on Twitch and he says he's a weirdo. What do you have to say to that? What's your rebuttal? Oh, you're, you're a double, okay, you're, you're double weirdo. Never ruled out the Twitch people being weirdos, no. Maybe that was a mistake. But open just to help. Cheers, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know how YouTube streams work at all. So I, I just, I literally just set it up today. So we'll see how it works. But uh, I'll have a little look into it. If you can beat Ollie, join him. <laughs> 
Don't forget to like the stream, exactly. That's something you can't do on Twitch. Like the stream. I mean, you can like the stream. I mean, generally, but you can't you can't show appreciation by liking it on Twitch. Just so sad. How do I know if pe that people like me? If there's not a button telling them that they do. Smash that like. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell. Bing, bing. Let's go. McFillin44 just gifted one subs. Let's go, Phil. Thank you, man. Uh, he's okay. We've gained two tenths that lap. Smash that gift button instead. Cheers, man. Appreciate you, man. Who'd it go to? <laughs> Which GT3 is best? I think the Mercedes. The Mercedes is pretty good on, on fixed anyway. I don't know about open. Haven't been uh, bothered with open really before. What is up you guys? It is your boy, Emilio fucking streams. Remember to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell. Fuck. I don't want to become one of them. But uh, now I am. Shit. This wasn't how this was supposed to go. I should start streaming on Reddit, man. You can stream on Reddit, right? Corn up, maybe. Love to see a Kyle Army and I racing. Probably. Stream on Facebook. Honestly, I was kind of considering it. Like I have, I have a really old like page that I used to use for my racing stuff that has like I can't really ha remember how many followers and stuff. But I mean, now anything's possible, so maybe I, maybe I will. I don't know. We'll do YouTube first, and then we'll see how it goes. Facebook streamer. YouTube stream since when? Since about 20 minutes ago. What's up, Ben? Five hundred seventy, five hundred six hundred fifty-seven likes, six hundred fifty-two followers. Oh, what on uh, on Facebook? Yeah, see, most of those people probably don't exist anymore, but... And then I got almost a thousand followers on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, you can stream anywhere, it's just whether anyone will watch it. <laughs> TikTok. Yeah, I got like a thousand on TikTok. I was going to do a TikTok one. I'm definitely going to do a TikTok one at some point. Once I figure out the vertical stuff. It's quite interesting, man, all this stuff. It's really cool that Twitch allowed us to stream everywhere now. 10 likes on YouTube. Let's go. That's more like than any video I've ever done. 
Actually, no, I don't know if that's true. I don't really check. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we got a decent gap here, 3.4. Need to check how what my settings should be for fueling. So no tires. We're quickest right now. You've just done a 159.44. Oh god, that's so slow through there. Ocon video has 11. Does it only have 11? Fucking hell. That video should have gone viral! I can't believe it! It's a yoke, dude. It's a yoke. Oh, thanks, Phil. Thanks for liking the stream. So I was looking at some, like, um... Some old Back to the Realms of Sanity. Nice. Mr. Beast type thing. Um, yes. I'm basically racing Mr. Beast. In terms of of uh, you know, I need a I need a Mr. Mr. Beast sponsorship so I can go race F2 again. <laughs> Although it's probably a bit late for me to race F2. Hoping that Ocon becomes World Drivers Champion. Yeah, man. Imagine, dude. Imagine. Unfortunately, I don't have a good video of me, like, dominating science in the same way, so... Like, the, the year we raced together, we were racing for, like, P10. It wasn't that exciting. No one was filming. No one cared. Okay, so we're going to start getting traffic soon. say science is probably more likely to become champion than Ocon at the moment. I mean, who knows? Need to do some prank, bro. Yeah, I should. I should. We're currently setting the pace. That lap was at 159. Well, the prank is, this isn't a real stream. I'm not a real person. I'm just AI generated. This whole stream is just AI. Cars. Okay, here he comes. Like. Alright, first GTP. God, that thing sounds nice, doesn't it? Seconds. Wins every race. I mean, the prank was last last um, was last stream yesterday when I uh, when I didn't win any race. That was the prank. Red Eye just resubscribed so for cars approaching. They're fighting for position. Yo, what's up, poor man? Stay left. Uh, cheers right. for the message in Discord. All it's right. nice. Uh, right side. In the right. go, go, go. I read it. I didn't write anything back, but cheers for it. It was an interesting perspective. Car to your right. Clear on your right. Fuck. Right side. You're clear right. Yeah, cheers, man. Slow around Suzuka's is almost depressing. It's such a tough track, man, particularly in that car, dude. Lap times are pretty consistent. Setups are not very forgiving, particularly on cold tires. There's a faster class car behind. Read Discord messages sometimes. Am I allowed to live stream on Discord as well? That's a funky looking Acura. That's quite nice livery actually. Right 
That's 20 minutes to go, 20 minutes. Finish 20th. Oh, you're like three seconds off. Or two and a half. Two and a bit, oh man. Right side clear. The Suzuka's really tough, man. Oh god, this guy's all over the place. Oh, Maria. If it makes you feel better, Paul, I did, uh, I did. <laughs> it is probably the toughest track that I've tried in that car to, uh, to even just do a lap without crashing. <laughs> God, you're old. Yeah, man, like that, that kind of car really comes out as well, like cars with a little bit like it's so demanding on your like instincts because you you have to correct so many times so maybe it's just like a reflex thing a little bit yeah it's tough doing super formula this week yeah i mean it's a great track it's a great car like i i want to do a, one of the fixed ones again but the open race, man, is too long, dude. It's too long. Not a big fan of that okay, long race. There's a faster class car approaching. Coming up on a slower class car. In Super Formula, I prefer the shorter ones, man. Like, it's so much effort to put in to just keep the car on track. Check your lap. How far behind is P2? Traffic's all been pretty chill so far. Oh, P2 died? What? Where's Unai? driving terribly as well. 7.7 second lead is not bad, is it? Right side, clear right. Watch your right, clear right. Incident in tower. Tower! Ah, uh, Sebring, man. I looked at some old videos of Sebring, like um, racingcircuits.info, whatever it's called. The P2 stream, no. I looked at racingcircuits.info, and um, it's so cool to see the old layouts of Sebring. And I feel like they, they could have done... Like, I feel like they made it worse over the years. <laughs> I mean, some of them were just like crazy with like super long straights. Like in the 50s, it was all straights. With like a 90 degree corner and then a straight. Kind of like a tilky drone. But um, another one of those airfield conversions, yeah. Zero, zero point but they, um, back in like the 80s, or this. Uh, yeah, the, I think it was the 80s, up until 1990. You used to go straight here into a massive carousel that would rejoin the track after these like few little S's here. They have a big carousel that would rejoin Plastic around here. Behind. He's racing us for position. Don't expect a blue flag. Slow clock. Left side. And then obviously you have the old hairpin, which just goes straight down there. Um, which I assume they changed for safety reasons, so there was a bit more runoff in case you lost your brakes or whatever. So the old happened went there and then the track rejoins up here and then the track used to go straight here you see that road over there that goes straight it used to go straight all the way onto the other runway but it also it used to come back onto the road here and then rejoin this bit as well and then there was another version that went straight on that corner as well there's been so many versions of this track and this is actually this part of the circuit used to be run backwards as well Test the back. And then this part down here used to just be one long right hander where you just cut there towards the wall. Whereas now obviously it's a it's a right left right. But you just take a long right hander onto this huge and then this whole like gap to high This entire bit um, 
all this like concrete on the right where all the trucks are. That used to be racetrack as well. On the right, clear on the right side. <laughs> where you going, bro? And then like the really old version used to just have a small left here and then it would go off to the, like straight. Yeah, I should probably focus a bit. hike has been catching me. But yeah, there's been so many different layouts of Sebring. And I don't think this is the probably the best one in the end. I mean, these corners are quite fun, but... We'd like to see what the carousel looked like. I couldn't find any videos. Yeah, there's the Wikipedia, but then there's also a, um, like, racingcircuits.info, I think, is the website. It's such a cool website. Like, I, I'm a bit of a nerd for, like, old racetrack layouts. I quite like just seeing what racetracks used to look like. And how they've, like, evolved over the years. Yeah, that's the one, Flavio. Right. Clear right. Okay, we pulled a little bit out on hike, you know. So anyway, man, I just like old racetracks. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. I just love it. But Sunset's been there since forever. Like, this corner's been unchanged this whole time, I think. And the hairpin... Well, they used to have the other hairpin, but you can still see it. And then this straight has always been the same. But everything else has been different. Moment. Car right. You're clear right. Blue flag. Car corner, epicest, epicest. Yeah, right, you can say it. You can say epicest. Five minutes, remaining, five minutes. Sort of, most epic. The greatest corner. Okay, man, I don't want to jinx this, but it's been going pretty fucking well so far. I'd be so happy if we can get this one done now, man. So, I'd be so happy. <laughs> you have no idea, man. Yesterday was such pain, dude. The gap to high time Behind is now 7.6. I don't know. 7.6, yeah. See streamer bring victory home. Exactly. On your right. Right side clear. Watch your right. Clear on the right side. There's no good Sebring pun. There just isn't. We're setting the pace. That was a. Uh, you can ride C. Bring the heat. We're running on fumes, mate. Hit this lap. In this That's lap. probably the best one. I don't think there's any good ones there. Overshoot my pit stall. I could overshoot my pit stall by like 10, <laughs> like 100 meters reverse and still come out in the lead. Unless uh, I drive like that constantly.
Okay, Emilio, 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. Keep it going, man. This is great. Uh, so we're probably gonna overfuel here, actually. I see what Cap says, but I just put in whatever Caps tells me to. But I think it'll be three uh, three liters too much, probably. I'm a YouTuber now. I can win every race. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, Flavio. What if Caps tricks us? Then we can write the copy pasta and everyone will be happy. Very little fuel left. Come into the pits at the end of this. No lap. one cares Box who actually wins the race. Lap. They care who deserves the win, right? The one that gets most upvotes on Reddit after the race is the true winner. There's an incident in sunset. Okay, we're going to go into the box now. We're driving so much slower than yesterday as well. Or worse, anyway, I don't know if it's slower. Pit lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Box in five, four. If everyone worked like that, Lando Norris, two, triple world champ. One. Why does everyone Box like now. Lando so much, man? Genuine question. I mean, no, I'm not saying he's like a, you know, unlikable at all. But it's, I'm just surprised that he's so popular, man. There's traffic behind. Take care. He's edgy. New metal beard. What? Okay, he's a rich kid, not far off stroll. Yeah, but nah, I don't know, man. He, he at least had to... He at least did F2 really well. His dad didn't buy the fucking F3 team he was running for. Well, uh, did he? No, he didn't. I don't actually... No, I don't think he did. He could have, probably. Paid 23 mil to McLaren for a seat, did he? Help fund his early career in car. Nothing after F3. Twenty-three million for a seat. Where'd you hear that? God drives on merit. Yeah. Thanks, Gregor. Some of his early career, nothing after F3. Yeah. So like. Um. I mean, I, I've. Well, Stroll's dad is probably richer than Lando's dad, I'm pretty sure. But, um... I don't, Lando's dad isn't quite as flashy as Stroll is with all his, like, I'll just buy an F1 team and then I'll just go around and say how rich I am everywhere. They're a little bit more discreet with all that. Plus, um... Source, trust me, bro. Posh plays, thank you for the follow. Saw a video the other day. Okay, yeah, well, videos are 23 million. I don't think anyone's ever paid 23 million for a McLaren C. I don't think you can. Maybe like through sponsors, I don't know. I mean, Checker would have brought some money back in the day to drive for McLaren for 2013, but. They still pick... In McLaren, they always pick people on talent, I think, right? They've never been one of those back market teams that has to pick someone for money. Money's always been a bonus. But yeah, like, the way they did it, right? So when I, um, I saw Lando, he was... Right side. He was right doing Formula Renault right when I was side. in uh, Formula... In GP3. Blue flag. And I was like, Who, who's this guy? And then I, I looked him up and he was he was doing like he was doing iRacing and like 
He did like three different championships in one year. Not full time. He did like two full season championships and then one like extra one. And I was like, and he was doing well in all of them. And I was like, okay, well, he's gonna, he's obviously gonna make, he's got the money and he's good enough. He's obviously gonna go to F1. It's already a foregone conclusion, really. Like track time is so, uh, I don't know, it's so underappreciated. Basically the same Max did, but Max did no racing. He just did testing for like a whole year, I think. Everyone's like, oh, he came straight from karting into F3. And then I'm like, yeah, well, spent like a whole year testing, if not more than a whole year. And then he, you know, he's really good, so he, he did a really good job. I am full for him, full for him. Oh, fuck. Stay right, clear on your left. Left side. But yeah, that's kind of, if you want to do, if you want to get to F1, you got to have shitloads of money. Oh, the, the best way of doing it, the easiest way from a driver's perspective is have lots of money, do lots, like shitloads of testing, loads of racing at like Formula 4 level. Do some testing in F3 level and then just hop into F3 and do really well. Norris overcome the pace driver status, yeah. No, but I mean, every every driver who's not stroll has. They all pay drivers in some way, at some level. I mean, you can't get into motorsport without paying anything. And they, you can only maybe convince a team to to pay for your junior career around F3 level. So you still need to do F4 and convince everyone you're the absolute bollocks. Enough for them to like spend hundreds of thousands if not millions on your career. So you need to be pretty fucking good. Perez under the radar pay driver. Yeah, Perez is like halfway the thing about Perez, like Perez wouldn't have had a, as long a career as he has if he didn't have like sponsors, extra sponsors. But it's a bit different because it's not from his family. It's like... It's like national sponsors, sort of. I don't really know. I don't know too much about Perez, but I know he has a lot of background. There's an incident in turn five. Yeah, like National Pride, yeah. It's not really pay driver, it's just kind of... Incident in the hairpin. It's like Maldonado, right? But I mean, you the money doesn't come from your family. I don't know, man. It's You just gotta have shitloads of money, otherwise you can't really get into it. Very little fuel left. Do we have enough fuel? Yeah, we're fine. I'm just chatting shit. I'm just chatting my way through this race. I'm really doing some terrible lines here, man. That fuel level low thing's stressing me out. I still got five liters left. Right side, clear to your right. We're running on fumes, mate. Good guy, Roman, for waiting there. I know, yeah, but I mean, I still like. I had a lot more opportunities than most people would. So it is, you know. I'm lucky, man. It's just like the the tough Come thing on, from our perspective is like when does we'll it fucking this. stop? Like the the Good consistency. Keep paying for seats. On the left. 
It just seems like it never ends, man, honestly. Anytime you talk to a team, they're always just like, oh, great, yeah, yeah, yeah great, you're, you're really good, and oh, uh, yeah, we, we really think you could do a great job for us. And I was like, oh, that's really cool, yeah. So what's your budget? <laughs> well, I was hoping you'd pay me, or at least give me some sort of, you know, whatever. Like, I don't know, man. You can carry on forever just paying in motorsport. People have, like, careers in motorsport as a driver, just paying the whole time. I mean, a lot, a lot don't as well. A lot of people get like properly paid and stuff, up. but. Two liters remaining. Nah, I could not feel, man. Great race. That was awesome. Funding by Mars was a scam. I don't know if it's a scam. It's like it is. It is a little bit. I don't know what what what's the right word. Because I mean, you're paying for a service. The service is like a race car, but the and and a team and to support you. But the price has just been so inflated because of the dream of Formula One, right? That it just becomes a bidding war for the best seats, and because the best seats can get can you know the car is. It's so important in racing. In. Turn one, two minutes to go. Two you can't minutes. really do that well if you don't have the best seat. Therefore, you'll have less chance at a career afterwards. Car right. It's all fucked, right. man. Good job, Maya. Uh, no one's, well no one's doing anything Great about win. it. You deserve that today. Really shit race. And then shit don't think street. anyone's going to do anything about it. I mean, everyone's making loads of money, so they don't care. But I won. And we got the win. P1. Finally, man. It took me ages to win this one. How many attempts did I have? I had four, I think. Four attempts at this. I mean, not ages. Was it three or four? I can't remember. There was one at Indy, and then there was... I was maybe only the third time trying this. Well, whatever. I'll take it, man. Let's go. Yeah, great overtake there, Marcos, man. Something tells me he's not sincere. Really fast, if you like score. Sorry, mate, I was talking to you. Were you saying we talk to me? No, no, not you, Michael. No worries. Good race, mate. I enjoyed that. Thank you. Sarcasm. <laughs> what happened here then? Great move. Wow, great job. Well, I can't see what's going on. So check this out. Look at these replay settings. I don't know. It, it makes it look like the, the cars are really small. It's like tilt shift lens. I think it's kind of cool though. Got motion blur and everything on here. <laughs> no. Can't say that, Snacks, and they can see what you're saying. Um, so I don't know what um, what Toby was upset about. Wow! 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 Oh my God! Did it? Did The lens. The news moaning about something here. Okay. I guess something happened on one of these laps. This one, maybe? We gotta see the beef, man! Do YouTube viewers even watch? Why are you saying YouTube viewers as if there's more than one? Is anyone on YouTube right now? Say I! If you want. Look at that livery on that Acura, man. That looks kind of cool. I'm not sure what I think about that livery. I think it looks nice. But it looks weird. It looks like there's just a bar across the front of the 
of a of an Orica LMP2. <laughs> I. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi YouTube guys. So weird streaming on two platforms, man. Oh, he bonked him. Can you believe it? Okay, well I can't see what he's what he's upset about. So I was going to watch then I started watching on YouTube. <laughs> Look at all these effects, man. Look at that. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. Look at that. Woo! That's so artistic, man. I've I've got I got um I got an artist to draw draw um, draw some eye racing for me, and they they came up with this. Uh, they didn't really know how to draw grills, so they just went like. <laughs> and then this one as well. This one was pretty cool. This is probably my favorite. The art level, the levels of art here, I feel like are pretty much unmatched. Giga art. Okay, well, let's just go through a couple of incidents before... Uh... Oh, no, he's gone right instead of left. That's clearly not the way he was supposed to be going there. And that's cost him big time. Huge error. Or David. Now we've got three wide send. Oh, no, he's going left. He shouldn't have done that either. And then as soon as he went left, the Porsche went right. But a little bit too early. Uh, the happen was a bit late, so he, he collected the Ferrari. It's not going well so far. BMW should have left a little bit more room, I think. Oh, well, he's the one on the wall, I suppose. Although the other's probably got damage. Then there's more dramas here. That's quite a nice livery, actually. I quite like that one. Karma police. Shit. You're a Radiohead fan. Karma police. Bonk. Hit the wall. Never mind. Oh shit! Oh! Oh no! I can't believe he's done this. It's absolutely fired poor Esteban off here. Could have judged that a little bit better, Ignacio. He took him out a third as well. This is a battle for third. Can't believe they've done this. Bonk. Down the inside goes Ignacio Leon. Killing a caddy. Could have spammed the net code him. Oh fuck, man! I s sorry, I need to. S <laughs> I still need to do that. Uh, there's been so much going on, man. I was going to do it this morning, but I was just so knackered after last night. I slept until like ten today. Oh dear! Oh no! It's unfortunate. Oh, he's hit the wall. Oh, he's got a YouTuber on his car. Oh, God, that looks so weird. Look at that. Motion blur. I've probably gone a bit over the top with motion blur. Should I turn it down a bit? I, I've just, I just realized that, like, all these things here, I could just click them on, and then they look different. Everything looks different. What if I put it on the car cams as well? What if I... That look good or bad? Bit motion blur. I can hear the PCs really working hard today. Poor thing. It's getting so hot in replay mode. <laughs> My dark youth. Video head killed the radio head. Oh, he's hit the wall. Ah, oh. drone cam with blur, dude. It doesn't get better than that. I feel like iRacing looks a lot better with all these effects. I don't know. Maybe it's just placebo, man. I don't know. 
That look, looks really good though. Behind the tree. The drone flew into the tree. Oh, down the inside. Ah, oh, what an incident. It's a good thing we had a great view from over here. <laughs> Oh, shade makes it look better. Oh, down the inside. There he goes. Down the inside goes Ignacio Leon. He takes out the second car. He just, <laughs> Ignacio's not taking any prisoners, man, is he? He's taking it upon himself to hit every single driver he comes across. He's only got a 6x, though. Pretty impressive. Big move. Bam, down the inside. Late move. Hit him. Get him out of the way. It's freaking dinosaur. What's he doing on the track? Oh, this was a sports car race. What is this? A race for dinosaurs? Man, that car looks so weird in a livery like that. I mean, I know all cars would look a bit weird, but it does... It does look like it has a face, doesn't it? It kind of looks like a curled up thing. It's weird. The LMDHs have vortices. Oh, I don't know. I don't think so. Do they in real life? I don't know. Our racing looks great when you can't see off-track textures and objects. <laughs> Our racing looks great when you can't see... Just leave the sentence there. I mean, it looks okay. It looks okay. What is display render modes? Put a smile on that face. Anyway, I should go do the... Um, ooh, Rothmans. Very nice. Ooh, it's shiny and everything. Filters. I see. What kind of filters? Whatever. Cool. Uh, let's go do the GTE race. God, if all these things just went away. So that's it. So we just get these up again. So that is it for IMSA iRacing Series fixed. Bam. It's gone. We just have one left. Let's go. Come on. And it's going to be this one. And it's going to be enough people signing up for it. Oh God, only six, really? Well, I kind of just want to get this done. Did I miss the tech support segment? Go away, Linus, for fuck's sake. You stream on YouTube for one hour and he just pops up. Like, the dial is so close. Let me start over. Oh, I don't know, man. Not this season. <laughs> I can't. Maybe if I get really bored. Um, what we got? Oh look at that. Daniel's Daniel's flying man. Is he trying is he trying to do this or no? He's got eleven man. He's gonna he's gonna if he gets three more, he's gonna be in the lead. Giga. P1, we've got one left. One left, boys. Ah, let's click join. Damn it. And then overall, all time. Dario's leading, but I, I not, not many of these wins of these extra wins are me. I've I've only really done road wins, 58 road wins, and the 60 the extra ones. Oh no, I I did dirt oval as well. Uh, dirt road, I mean, dirt road ones are mine. The two ones there, but the oval ones I think was my brother. A little while ago, ages ago. Look at that. There it is. It's, it updated already. Actually, no, already. I've been watching the replay for like half an hour. At least get the rookies. Yeah, maybe. The thing is, you'll rope me in with the rookies, Duncan. And then I'm just going to like keep... It's just it's like crack, dude. It's just like a dealer, man. You know, so unethical. <laughs> You're going to get me hooked on Don Catlon again. <laughs> Consumes all. Um, okay. 
Let's get the dash up. So, we have 16 people in this practice session. I'm surprised there's only 9 people signed up. I think they will probably sign up soon. Who have we got? There's quite a, there's a couple 4K guys. Three 4K guys. Okay. Who knows, man? Um, this is not a car I'm very familiar with, apart from... I've only ever driven it yesterday, when we got it. The pit lane speed limit is 80 kilometers per hour. The pit exit is clear. But it is a lovely car, this thing. Just a little bit different from the, the Mercedes I was just driving. Don't mainline the Dunkathlon kids. Just say no to Dunkathlon. I'm gonna change the uh, the brightness settings, man. This is too dark. Like that. How's that look? I don't know what the rights, the, what the good settings are for this, but. Oh yeah, I can see now. Stay behind the line. I can see clearly now. Oh, that's so much better. I'm surprised the Ford GT just eats that sausage, but this thing doesn't. That's the one thing the Ford does better than this car. It eats the sausage better. So I swear this car feels a lot like the uh, the Porsche GT3 actually on reflection. I was watching someone uploaded the entire 2002 um, Spanish Grand Prix like a week ago or something onto YouTube, and I just found myself watching all the pre-race stuff, man. It's so funny to see all this like old old F1 stuff it feels so it feels so old just watching it back and everyone looks so young because everyone's like a lot of the people there are still involved with F1 like they interview Jensen Button and like David Coulthard they've got Ted Kravitz in there Martin Brundle does his grid walk Uh, but the grid walk is a lot less chaotic, but it was still kind of funny. DC with hair. The thing about DC, man, he... You can't see it that much anymore, but he had the squarest face, man. It's insane how square his face was. He looks like a Minecraft character, honestly. <laughs> Problem with DC is always tries to walk it in. I don't know what the ref was thinking. Did you see that ludicrous display last night? DC is a square. He's a square person. His jawline was impressive. Really, was it? It's it's yeah, man. I mean, it it doesn't show as much anymore. I swear, but like when he's when he was younger, he was just completely square, man. It's just. Kind of impressive. It's so impressive. I don't know why. It was just kind of yeah. But it's funny to see them all like. How long ago is 2002, man? It's like 20 years. Or it is 20 years. 21 years ago. How was there never a Lego DC, dude? That's a massive missed opportunity. 
This is Father's Minecraft, Steve. <laughs> The impossibly square man. Steve Coulthorn, hip to be impossibly square. <laughs> All the moaning about Bun being too young for F1. Oh, really? It was the same with Raikkonen as well, wasn't it? I mean, with Raikkonen, they did kind of have a point. But, uh... Well, Button did like two seasons. He did Formula Ford, then he did Formula 3, and then straight to F1. He was 19. He had a test with Prost, finished top 5 in F3. He recommended to Williams. Who recommended him to Williams? Prost. They put him in the car because they didn't have any other drivers. Mate, it's so random, dude, sometimes, I swear. Yeah, Prost. We don't have a driver, but we need to. Let's just put this kid for who finished like fifth in F3 in British F3. Where did they finish in F3? They had Montoya signed. Oh, right. So they were just like stopgap button. And accidentally hired a future world champion. Although, Mont man, I'm sad things though didn't, like Montoya should have been a champion at some point, man. It would have been great. He was so good. It's just a shame that Ferrari was so dominant when he was near the, fighting near the front. And he couldn't get on with the McLaren. Montoya and the Giga Horsepower BMW. Yeah. Montoya made some of the races in that era interesting. Yeah, man. E4, good lap. That's your best in the session. You're now 0.6 off the pace. That lap was a 137.29. He was the button was third in a 3 SV. Behind go kying legend Mark Hines. Oh, Mark Hines. Yeah. I've. Don't know much about him, but I have heard of him. He didn't. He, didn't he do like zip car, zip, zip cards or something? Luciano Berti. Ah, Luciano Berti. Favorite drivers of all time, as I followed them live, were Gilles Villeneuve, Senna, a lazy Montoya. Nice. Just one jet dryer. <laughs> his dad made zip cards. Oh, his dad. Okay, I see. I remember I watched, uh, they made like Zip Formula as well. I watched the first race of that for some reason. It was on TV. 80%. Ages ago at Brands Hatch. Don't know why I remember that. They had a super close finish. Praying for that a lazy win seemed like a never ending cycle. Yeah. What's that bronze one? Barcelona historic qualifying session one. Let's go. Painting on your wall of Canada ninety-five. Signed by him, nice. Post 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 it. Jean Alessi. It's 
Um, so we got eight cars in here. We got a 4.1k guy, Sadat. I think, I don't know how to say it, that name. I hope I got it not horrendously wrong. Um, and Ray, we're on the Porsche, so I like that'll be where my competition's coming from. Be those those three. Um, yeah, I'll just sit out practice. See what, see what his lines look like. Hmm. Um, Oh, he's streaming on YouTube and Twitch as well. He's stolen my USP. <laughs> a lazy should have had many more wins. Yeah, I saw I saw a few. Like I didn't realize, because like I started watching F1 in 2002 after he left. So I only ever like heard about John Lazy briefly as like a Prost driver or a Jordan driver, and. Um, and yeah, I had no idea that for a long time that he, <laughs> he drove for Ferrari and he had just had like the worst run of luck ever. Well, the worst one was like, uh, I think it was it 95 in Monza, not necessarily for a lazy, but it was for Ferrari in general, where like the camera fell off a lazy's car. So Ferrari was running one, two, and then the camera fell off a lazy's car, hit Berger's front wheel, which broke his suspension. <laughs> And then a lazy's car just broke down later. <laughs> so they went from running run two to just being double DNF'd. It's amazing. Watch him tear all 90, 90, yeah, around Phoenix. I saw that. I watched the, um, the 1990 and the 1991, I think. And maybe 89, I can't remember. No, I think it was 1990 and 91. Um, F1 highlights, like someone uploaded it all to YouTube. It's really, really cool to watch. I love those cars as well. They're the best looking F1 cars, man. Ferrari content legends. <laughs> yeah, before Shumi, what was it like 30 years of no Ferrari champion? Like the last one was Schechter in 79 until the year 2000. So 31 years. And it looks like they're going to go another 31 years, the rate they're going at the moment. I mean, how long is it since Kimi won? It was 2007, right? My maths, what? 16 years, yeah. So, just need another, <laughs> just need to double that and they'll be on their equal losing streak. Wonder what F1's going to look like in 15 years. I hope we go back to um, V10s, man. Get V10s in. Get the... Uh, carbon neutral fuel that's the way forward surely look at that beautiful sunset just be Formula E at that point no Formula E already exists if everyone turns into Formula E I don't know man the one thing that annoys me most about Formula 1 at the moment is track limits man if they just keep going down that path of like drawing white lines in random places and then going like you can't go over that it's just really kind of I don't know it kind of ruins it for me to be honest a little bit when half the race they're just talking about oh did he go outside the white line it's like yeah but it just doesn't it's boring man V10's no rev limit exactly Changing the lines during the sessions.
two. Three never won a World Drivers' Championship. All three were teammates to Schumacher, Patrese, Barrichello and Massa. Lala. Wonder if Bottas is going to join those most experienced guys. There's a little bonus for the YouTube viewers there. <laughs> Prez is 10. Oh, really? Fastest lap for is opening 136.34. Didn't realize, ah, oh, but it's it's skewed because there's way more races these days than there used to be. It used to be 17 races now for the for a while, and now it's just like 20, whatever. But in terms of seasons then, usually at 16, yeah, for a long time. You're in pole. Pole position's very close though. Let's get a better lap in here. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> now it's absurd. Thanks for the bits. That's the end of the session. Pole position. Nice one. Wait, did I do two laps? I did two laps. Okay, well, never mind. I lost track of how many laps I did then. <laughs> Let's put the race setup on. Wait. Nice pole. Thanks, man. It was pretty close. Okay, boys. Barcelona historic. Put the race set. Come on. We can win this one, man. Third time lucky. Not third time lucky. Third time talented. Third time skillful. Third time um, prepared, experienced, and ready for action. There we go. That's better. Let's do it. Good luck. Have fun. Don't die. Thanks, man. Um, all right. I can use my... Oh, so <laughs> I spent... How long did I spend last night? I spent like a good... 40 minutes figuring out when I can go, when I'm allowed wow, to go wow, 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 at the start of the race. So uh, let's not get a penalty, but get a really good start here before anyone figures out what I'm doing. Win the race before it's even started. Come on, let's go. 45 minutes. That's pole. Ah. Uh, who? Stay behind. Need to remember Safety not to like just left column. take out P2 like I was doing yesterday as well in the AI. The <laughs> LAP is on the forecast. Let's go. Go. Cheers, Flavio. One X already. Cheers, Flabby. Love Twitch. <laughs> well done, Emilio. Good start. Good 
Okay, nice. has been a good opening lap so far. Good. Very good. What's the tow range again in this car? It's like, is it one second? Not cheating this time if it's allowed. <laughs> Lol. It's good practice though. <laughs> We're pulling away though. A little bit. Little by little. Point nine now, it's pretty close. Hello YouTubers. You're in the lead. What's up YouTube? The guy behind has just done a 136. So weird. So weird knowing I'm live on YouTube. I feel so filthy. Disgusting YouTuber. YouTube. It's Tubes Day, isn't it? One point one, come on, come on, let's get out of the tow range, come on. The captain is open. Behind is now one point two. Run seconds. away. It'd be so nice to get this done. If I do get it, then we'll go do some IMSA, I think, in uh, in the GTP. Which sucks, you can't say that. Don't jinx it, okay. Cap even. <laughs> what are you? What's going on? <laughs> okay, P would. Okay, Emilio, our refueling window will open after 18 minutes. It closes after ah, it's point nine minutes. again.
That's Cap came from the Kappa remote? I had never even thought of that. There are no people here. <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> there's at least one. Or in the race. I mean, there's only like... <laughs> there's not that many people in the race either. Still struggling though. Okay, 1.3. Come on. That's slow. No slowdown. Thank you. I don't know where the slowdown is on that corner. It's a little bit unsettling. Not knowing. It's your only view for months I created the view. You're streaming too large. Your view. It's too. It's too real, man. It's too true. It's too true, Peregrine. Well, that that was mean, Morgan. What those coats do? Oh God. Cones are evil. Hashtag Cone, cone Lives Matter. <laughs> okay, Pragan, you're into. Oh, well, what's going on? <laughs> ah. <laughs> dentist noises. No, GTE is not a dentist car. Come on. Actually, no, it kind of is. They got GTE am, don't they? Okay, fair enough. Open wide. Does this hurt? Ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> the captain is ill. Behind is increasing. Okay, it's now, now. 1.4 seconds. He's still there, man. 1.1. He's pushing me hard. Was a Come on. I need to get away from him. Ah, oh, dude, we're equal pace. Fuck. It's gonna be another long race today, I think. Only takes one punt. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Okay. Okay, Emilio, that's good consistency. Keep it up. You've just done a one thirty-seven point zero four. Oh man, I guess this car is like, it's so easy to drive. Everyone's like basically the same pace. Go, go, you're oh, real man. If you can't do it, no one fucking can be bad be. <laughs> I didn't understand a word of that until I read it.
Jazz is broken. That's why you guys like it, isn't it? Jazz is broken, man. It's sad. It's a sad state of affairs when jazz is broken. We need jazz in our lives to spice it up. Fuck that stupid bitch Jim. I fucking hate Jim. He says the most annoying brain dead shit while I'm racing. Like I know that I'm upside down. I know that my start was shit. I don't need a reminder from some minimum wage as divorced single dad. Claire, on the other hand, is hot. She is sweet and respectful. Claire is mommy. <laughs> Claire? Is that Claire on Kerchief? Oh, Claire's just a spotter, isn't she? Hi, Jared. P. Wood. You're not the first one to write that on YouTube, so you're not my only viewer. Got him. All the people in the chat are me. It's not funny, okay? Just because I have no viewers on YouTube, okay? Doesn't mean <laughs> you can just spam that. <laughs> okay, it is a bit funny. Okay, it's a bit funny. It's a little bit funny. It's a tiny bit funny. Okay. Fine, I admit it. Fine. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, shit, he's catching me. Come on, man. <laughs> this dude. The Captain Herbalist isn't, uh, isn't Dunkasaur. Come on, man. Okay, we're going to be on that lap. Good use of that copy pasta. Whatever, man. No funny. I hope they don't rescan Barcelona. Actually, I was just thinking about it because they have, they still have that better, the better old like corner at the end of the back straight, turn ten or whatever. Oh no, LFS! You're two tenths off the pace in sector three. Why is there a lot of people saying that they are the only viewer? That doesn't make any sense. Actually, no, it does make sense. Fuck. Never mind. <laughs> oh god. It's too quiet after fans, that, man. Welcome to beautiful Bark of fucking Lona, where Emil Bernie Sanders store, man of the people, is showing these pussy ass bitches how to drive a motherfucking to do. Let's go, Emil. The answer is your movie. Behind is now 1.1. Uh. Beans do. 
Bar's a fucking loner. Ah, that was a good T1. Very nice. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, we heard someone was shooting a baby in here. Is everyone okay? No. Oh, you, it's I'm that okay. time again. <laughs> no, not again. Oh, my God, can someone please set that baby up on me? <laughs> it's not funny. Just cut the track. It's not funny, man. Come on, stop. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm traumatized. Can you guys stop? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can't do that, okay? You can't do that. You guys the just trying to was laughing because he has no hurt. <laughs> Are you guys um You guys just trying to find my new alert sound sounds for YouTube. I hope. Oh we got we gained a gap. You guys <laughs> I've, I've been going faster the last couple laps. Oh no, he he made a mistake, I think. Yeah. Okay. Hi, people on YouTube. If you're new, um, this is uh, normal. Normally, the streams are a bit less murdery than this one. Just a little bit there. So please don't, please don't click away. Please stay. Please like and subscribe. Please uh, hit the bell. Please uh, keep watching. Don't go anywhere else. This is a good place to, to hang out and, and just, just chill, you know. Not representative, but it's fun, it's good, stay, please. That lap time was 137. Leave a comment. <laughs> Wait, can you, you can't leave like a permanent comment, can you? You can only leave a live comment. Come on, you guys are scaring away the YouTube viewers. <laughs> All of the many YouTube viewers. <laughs> it's scaring them. Please do the sex with me. Oh fuck, I'm not even... I have no idea what's even going on in the race. I've just been driving around aimlessly. <laughs> Your last lap time was at 138.00. 
Sector 1 is 0.39 <laughs> off the pace. We need to find a tent in Sector 2. Sector 3 times OK. Oh, God. Driving well. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Uh. Thanks, Broomy. At least someone's being nice. <laughs> See, some people watch for racing, so actual driving, for speed, for adrenaline, not just TTS. <laughs> Although I fear you're in the minority, Broomy. It feels like got full-on brain damage. Lopo gang, thank you for the follow. Hey, YouTube viewers, smash that like button like I smashed your mom's last night. I just realized I haven't set anything up, just like if people do subscribe on YouTube, I have no way of knowing. But if you have subscribed on YouTube, thank you. I need to set that up. Alright, Emilio, half distance. We think about six minutes of fuel remaining. All the above love the GTE, exactly. Sector three is two tenths off the pace. Market maker, thank you for following. I'm following yesterday, doesn't know. Doesn't know about all the fun that can be had here. Gap two is ill for Behind is now two point eight. Yeah, you get drawn in with the racing and then And then uh, hey, chat. slap with TTS. Here is another tutorial on how to do the segs with LFSM's mother. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Let's go! We're going down a dark path, chat. <laughs> Market maker, thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate someone enjoying what's going on. <laughs> Thanks for the prime. Guys, did you know you can subscribe with Prime unless you're watching on YouTube, in which case you can't. Let's go! Salvatore underscore R just resubscribed for 18 months. Hey man, why are your pants still on? My pants? Uh, how do you know my pants are on? Who says they're on? Thanks for the sub, though. Oh no, it's a one X is over. Track limits, watch those lines. The upcoming a racing rain update. Do you think you'll be able to handle those wettest corners? Yes. That's twenty minutes to go. Because I don't have legs. What I do at one? Look, legs are people too, okay? Park is over. Okay, let's hope we don't get held up too much here. Okay, one more lap before we pit. We know that Emil is a clone, but does the clone have legs? Have we ever seen them? Very little fuel left in this lap. Box this lap. Wait, well, I need to figure out how much fuel I put in. Okay, that should be fine.
is hill to be. It's closing in. The gap is now 2.4. Flash, flash. Oh, that was P3 flashing P uh, the lap guy. Okay, he's losing time. 3.2. Just for the bits, though, guys. I don't know if I can, in good conscience, actually just take those bits. Half of them were just. Uh. We're running on fumes, mate. In this lap. Box this lap. But I'm not giving a refund. <laughs> but cheers for bits, guys. Are we boxed now? Obama in the same room together. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. Box in a five, four, three, two, oh, affirmative. one. Box now. Uh, my fellow Americans. Your exit is clear. Watch the white line. Where is he? Okay, he's four seconds behind now. <laughs> that's, what Barack, that's what Obama would say if he wasn't trying to sound like Obama. You got me, man. Fuck. It's me. Poachers 44 in the flesh. What up? <laughs> Barack Obama store. <laughs> it's me, your boy Potus. I'm the Potus with the mosters. You're only fellow American. I'll prove this by saying a message from all my accounts. Oh, God. Poachers in a Lotus, more like Gotus, what's up? Behind is now 6.5, P2. Smart people saying you're the Gotus. Okay, Emilio, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Find his most tremendous people. Tremendous. Okay, how long we got left? We still got quite a wide way left in this one. Oh man, compared to yesterday, dude, these races are so much easier. And I'm racing around the same time as well. Okay, we got 14 minutes left. Oh, 
It's annoying that this doesn't line up with um, with IMSA. Otherwise, I think more people would do it. Just in a bit of no man's land. Yesterday was wild. Unless yesterday was exhausting. Keep your focus. You're leading. That lap time was 137.73. Today's a movie, dude. Dubai was lit. No cap for real, for real. Okay, we got a six second lead. I don't know how that happened. Looked like Sedat lost some time in and around the pit lane. I can finally be done with this horror. Now, 6.0. I feel like I might want to try this series um, later on in the season because it's really, really cool to have like 40 cars racing against each other. Like, if you get a split, a good split with 40 cars in it, it's actually really cool. Then it feels better if you're fighting at the front of it because you see, oh, look at all those cars behind me. Even if normally they'd just be in another split. Used to love GTEs. Yeah, GTEs used to be m the most popular car on iRacing, right? Most popular category. Seven people left in this race. That means one guy's retired. <laughs> I'm surprised GTEs have died as much as they have. I know Barcelona is not the most popular track, but... Next season with LMP2 joining GT1, GT2. That will be good. But what are they going to do about this race, this series? I feel like they should just add LMP1 and to this one. But I don't know, man. Maybe not. Stoke for GT1s again. Do you think... I mean, there won't be that many extra people doing it. Get all of some. Okay, GT1s haven't gone anywhere. They're still there. There's just no one running in. Um, like regularly or at least there's all they're organized if you want to do it you have to check the forums and stuff but you can run gt1s today if you want probably actually no i don't know this is brilliant keep it up where is gt1 this week Mozport, ah, that'd probably be quite a good combo. I mean, Mozport's a great track. Okay, come on, seven second lead. Let's bring this one home, man. Okay, now, how long is um? How long does it take to do the Dunkathon, actually? If it's 59 races... I was thinking, like, we need a speedrun clock, but <laughs> shit. It's going to take so long. Who's the fastest to ever do the Dunkathon? It'd be so crazy, man. It would take, like... What's the average race dist like race length 
in iRacing. It's probably like 25 minutes, maybe 20. Go 20 times 60. The lap time was 157.68. Or 59. It's so long, man. The gap to is ill to be. Behind is now 7.4 seconds. You've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. With the airspeed velocity, I'm and I'm laid swallow. African or European, LFS? Question. With coconuts. We are checking. Question. Oh, just let this be over, man. How long we got left? Seven minutes, seven minutes, come on. In the lead. Barcelona isn't really that great track for racing. I know, like, uh, everyone's going to be like, yeah, obviously. But even in iRacing, I don't know. I feel like it just turns into a hot lap. Bonanza. Like, yesterday was just hot lapping. But Duncathlon was just hot lapping. Like it's fun, it is fun to hot lap, but... Track map looks cool. What does the track map looks like, look like? You think it looks cool? Wait till you see the Esther Real track map, dude. That thing's wild. It looks like a Pokemon. You know that, that rock Pokemon that has like biceps? The uh, I forget what it's called. Looks like ET laying down. <laughs> Geo dude. Yeah, maybe his head isn't round enough, but it's basically Geo dude. Track map tier list based on aesthetic qualities. <laughs> I don't think I could think of a more subjective category if I tried. Obviously, Spa is going in goated tier, looking like an Uzi. Game of Muscles logo with a second hand. <laughs> Abu Dhabi shaped like Han Solo's blaster. Never on CGU, dude, is this track. <laughs> there you go, you're welcome. Sounds like good YouTube content. Oh yeah, tier list. I'll stream it on Twitch and then upload the whole thing to YouTube. That's, That's how you get millions of viewers. Billions, billions of viewers. Wow, so that really fell off actually there. He's almost being overtaken by P3 now. There's a 300 I rating guy in this race. Was that the guy we lapped? I didn't even see. Oh no, he didn't. <laughs> he stopped like a few laps in. Shit. 
win a race in okay. all the different series. Uh, we're not doing the current season thing. We're just doing the all-time one. What are you doing? No! That's five minutes of fuel left. Great victory scene prepared. No. I mean, I already did the, the, main, the main one last season. And this is just the, the extra ones that were added this season. Did Matt Malone know he was getting, he was gonna get a hundred, a thousand wins? I think I, um, I was just looking through like some data, and I saw he had like 992, and I was like, oh, does he know? Does he know? I'm gonna take full credit for him knowing. That is pretty cool, though. A thousand wins, man. That's so much. Need to test. Go ahead, I suppose. Okay, two laps left. Come on, let's bring this one home. We got 11 seconds lead. Man, they really fell off. He was keeping me so honest for the first half of the race. It's only a three second gap when we went into the pit lane. That's two minutes left. No, it's just. Ballooned. 11 seconds, man. They're only going into T1 now. T2. What is that? <laughs> I don't recognize that. What was that from? Which Ali G thing? P1 stream. Dude! My stream tile, no more P2s, is coming true. Should have been only wins for extra confidence, but... LEG film where they're all lined up to break the safe open. We're running on fumes, mate. One more I've only seen that film together. once. I don't know all the quotes from it. Sectors one and three are looking quick. You were tenth off the pace in sector two. The best scene though is the street racing scene, by far. Well, I mean, it has a lot of great scenes, but that's the one that stuck out to me. And then the opening scene with the booyaka booyaka. Meant to be turned on the engine, pass it on. Bitch on a pension, suck my dog. <laughs> All right, lol. <laughs> he couldn't even get through it. Ricky, but first, I want you to say I love crepe. Just putting it out there. Crepes are those like real thin pancakes. Yeah, I can rec recommend a viewer to watch either on Twitch or YouTube. You can only pick one. Which one it would be? Um, well, I'm not allowed to say YouTube. <laughs> As per the terms of service of this thing, I think. Why am I catching this guy in the same corner I did last time? So it's Twitch, obviously. Twitch is the best platform for live streaming. I'm only on YouTube because I can. Hello, everyone on YouTube. If there's anyone. We won! Yes, boys! Let's go! 
The all-time Doncathlon has been restored to 100%. Not even a 1x with that celebration. Ah, uh, let's go. That's what I. That's what you call precision, baby. Can it? With traction control on, can it do it? Ooh, these are some nice, nice donuts. Nice controlled donuts with traction traction control on. And we run out of fuel. Perfect. 59 out of 59. Let's go, Mo. Congratulations on your win. Yes, congratulations, Senor. Senor. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Ah, yes, boys. 59 out of 59. Bam. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect. Pork is loud apart from when doing donuts. I mean, I, did, I had traction, con traction control on. Oh, is my stream skipping frames a little bit? Look at this. Look at these donuts, man. Very cool. Oh, dude, that, was, that went so smoothly today, man. I'm so happy, man. Yesterday was such a pain. But it was all worth it because we got through and then just bang, bang, bang them both out. First try today. Definitely not first try overall. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hello, Moto. Okay, let's see this start. That was the only thing that really happened. Then we'll have a look at some incidents and then... Ah, oh, a few hiccups. Yesterday was painful, man. But we got it. We got it through. Cheers guys, cheers guys. Hello Mixer. Look how early I went. That was where I won the race, bam, right there, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Look at that, he's weaving. I'm just like, alright, I'll go then. Do you want? Only one because of the star research yesterday. Exactly, man. That's what they say about drivers working hard in motorsport. Is you just feel you just watch, just watch. Uh, you know, try try and figure out exploits. That's all they're doing. I don't know what I'm saying, man. I'm just happy to be done with this. Thank God. Thank God. Still doesn't have the right livery on. But uh, very happy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what all the they're all doing behind. Where's the first incident? Just looking at me. Here we go. Here's Ray. It's gonna hit the bump. That's fine. Oh my god! Look at that huge BMW. That BMW really is big, isn't it? Jesus. Something wrong with this front end. And a spin. It's a chonky boy. Oh no, 300 I rating driver. He's lost more. He's lost more. I wonder, how did he get so far, man? He got all the way to lap eight with 300 I rating. I mean, that's probably further than he gets most of the time. What even happens? Hang on. <laughs> uh, looks like he had some sort of wheel disconnect. What can you do, man? What can you do? I want to see how he was getting on at the start, man. 300 I rating. Oops. Okay, so everyone went like miles before he did. Oh, we going? <laughs> okay. 
see what he's like in the corners, man. Let's see his fastest lap. Let's ride on board on his fastest lap. Let's see. He's keeping up with that other Ferrari. That's not too bad. Keeps the wheel mid-lock, then snap center. Yeah, I don't think he has... A, I mean, I'm assuming he doesn't have a traditional wheel. I wouldn't be surprised if he has a wheel without force feedback with 300 I rating. What's up, Holy Fuel? I'm good, man. I'm good. Hope you're doing well. I mean, it all looks pretty reasonable. There's no, nothing he's doing massively wrong. He's going around the track. Missed the apex a bit, but I mean, he's only got 300 I rating. It's way better than I expected, to be honest. But then it disconnected, so that's probably why his I rating's so low. Because the wheel won't be plugged in for more than 10 minutes. Guitar Hero controller. What does his steering inputs look like? Can you guys see that? Sort of. You can get the general idea where his wheel is. Controller? Maybe. Oh, a little bit, a little bit sketchy. Bluetooth wheel, probably Wiimote. Probably iPad <laughs> controlled. Yeah, it's not too bad, not too bad. Best 300 I rating driver I've ever seen, hands down, hands down. It's not even close. Um, I don't have any Formula Wheels, uh, Holy Fuel. Cool. That was great, man. That's a win. This thing's going to update soon. Still not updated, but that's fine. Don't want Duncan to break his budget. There it is. Look, 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 look. Completed. Finish the challenge for this season I'm so happy man I'm so happy I'm so happy sound like a Finnish guy I am so happy I am on over the moon I don't know how to express my, <laughs> my excitement <laughs> I ruled on Catherine oh god no not today not today definitely not um, I want to do the um, the next IMSA. So next IMSA is in 38 minutes. Um, so let me see what's going on with uh, so there we go. Bam! Two viewers. Let's go. Two viewers on my YouTube <laughs> on my YouTube stream. Let's go, guys. Giga. Thanks for hanging out over there. Look at the, look at all these chats though. Huge amounts of chats. How people are gonna start thinking I'm botted, man? I got two viewers and I got all these chats from all these different people. Um. Cool. Celebratory marbles. I think we'll do a marble. Yeah. Passionate chatters. I love the passion in there, guys. So, because we don't have that many YouTube uh, viewers, I can uh, I can run a marbles race because I have not set that up with uh, YouTube, and I don't I don't know if I I probably won't end up doing it. It's too much, too much to do. All right, guys, uh, we're doing marbles race. Let's see, test drive. No, it's not test drive. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Single race. Yeah, AI. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what, 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 which cars should we use, boys? Twitch bugs. Automated chat. Chat! <laughs> Automated chat. Ban me. Um, okay, let's see if there's any cars that we haven't ever done a marbles in. Oh no, actually, I was going to do something. Um, I was going to go on Garage 61. Okay, so check this out. I should probably have done this another time. But uh, what is one of the best tracks for marbles? Lime Rock. So let's go to Lime Rock. 
Um, hang on, can we do this? Yeah, where's Lime Rock? Okay, I'm just gonna figure this one out. So I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a a, a grid with cars that are almost the same pace around Lime Rock. Uh, with lots of different cars. The Lime Rock, uh, we'll just do Lime Rock Classic. That's easier. Oh shit, no. Uh, where's Lime Rock? Lime Rock Classic. We click on that. And then we'll see where the, there's least like variance in speed. So there's these are way too quick. Oh, the 39s are pretty close. The 40s. A lot of cars in the 45s here, actually. Okay, that's pretty close. So the Radical SR10, that's the new Radical. The GTE, the GT1, the RSR. Okay, there's a lot of GTEs in here. Indy Pro. Okay, we can, we can make a grid out of this. Let's go. <laughs> Ambitious but doomed. Perfect. So, okay, let me put this on the side screen. So... Radical SR10. I mean, it's a small track. Whatever, let's see. SR10. So we'll put... Uh, wait, how many cars are there here? There's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> okay, Radical. Uh, What? Oh, that's my car. Shit. Oh, no. I wrote Great Season. Go away. Yes. No. Create a roster. There it is. Okay, so roster name. Lime Rock Classic. We'll add a car. SR10. Ah, oh, shit. Hang on. God many... help us. Where is Linus? We need tech support for Emil and his no, it's fine. entries. Okay, what's 60 divided by 12? 60 divided by 12. That's a uh, five. Yes. I got five before you wrote it. Thanks. Thanks for the help. Thank you. See, I got quick maps. I got quick maps. So then we can do the GTE. Four GTE. Five of these. Hey, Emil. What? The GT1. The G is the GT1? GT1's on here, isn't it? Yes, but it's the Aston Aston GT1. Five of these. Oh wait, up to 50 cars, so we're not gonna get two of them, but that's fine. Um, I had a drive with random values. Yeah. So five of those. Uh, then we got the Porsche RSR. Five of these. Oh, I don't know how many. Uh, well, we'll just add them all and then we'll see what happens. What's up, Salvatore? Salvatore. Oh, the Pro Mazda's legacy, isn't it? Yeah, Pro Mazda's legacy. Um, we will just instead, we'll put more. Um, we'll put extra indie pros. We'll put 10 Indie Pros in. Um, and the Ferrari GTE. That one. It's going to be worth the wait, guys. It's all good. Uh, then there's the C7. Ah, this one's not on marbles. Fuck. That sucks. Formula Renault 2.0. <laughs> M8 actually first. This is basically just GTE plus some open wheelers. <laughs> Wait, is it 2.0 not on marbles? Not on. Uh... 
I thought it was. Ah, uh, is it not? Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay, we'll put another. We'll put some more Nipros in. <laughs> I can't spell. Five more indie pros. Um, then the GT1 Corvette. This is just Wreckfest. Yeah, it's Wreckfest with um, with chat's names. It's great. Oh, you know it's next to them. And then the other Chevy. Um, ding. Did I put the Radical in already? Yeah, we'll put we'll put some more radicals in because there's a lot of GTEs. Uh, five more radicals. Okay, we'll just leave it with that. Lime Rock Classic. Oh wait, it should be one word. We'll just write Lime Rock. And then we'll make it more really crashy. So aggression maximum, optimism maximum, smoothness none. Really old. Pickery skill zero, riskiness maximum. Okay, apply to all roster. Bam. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, now I will write the command. <laughs> Make them young. Why? Need to do young. Why? They drive too slow. No, it's it. It only affects reaction time. It means their reaction time is really slow. It works better like this with the um, with the um, with these types of cars. I don't know about the other ones. They're all they're all equally the the same pace. Oh shit. Okay, guys, go, 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 go! Exclamation mark race! Get yourselves in here. This is gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, if you are watching on YouTube, this is only available to Twitch viewers. If you write exclamation mark race, um, you'll be entered into a um, a AI race, or your name will be entered into an AI race, and uh, it's gonna be great. So Lime Rock Classic, um, opponents, oh wait, I need to, yeah, we'll wait with that one. Get yourself in here unless you suck on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I only have like two viewers on YouTube, but I have YouTube viewers. I've been enjoying my first YouTube stream. Uh, it doesn't matter what car I'm in. I'll use one that... Uh, I'll use one that's in the race so we don't overburden my PC too much. Can't even do Keck Double on YouTube. What a shame. This is so not right. <laughs> pro, pro rata, the, the, the YouTube viewers are getting way more personal attention. Exactly, man. I'm being really nice this first stream. I'll probably forget about them in the future. Unless it really picks up. Let's go, Mr. Beans! Good to see a new. New entry in here, exclamation mark race guys, everyone's welcome, it's um, it's free to enter, it's free to watch, and it's free to, it's free to win, if you do win, there's not really much skill involved, but uh, that's why it's so fun, I guess, I don't know, I don't know. random shit now, get your entries in, come on! Milburn Brain, Milburn Send it, Milburn Netcode, Milburn Scared, Milburn Fork, Milburn Clown. Milburn what? Clown. <laughs> I forgot about the clown one. Uh, let's do 10 laps. Be like a 10 minute race or more. Actually, probably more because there'll be a lot of carnage. Um, Milburn Cloud. I should make a cloud one. I don't know what that would mean, but I really want to do that now. Um, 30 seconds left, guys. Last chance to enter this marbles race. We're doing a lot of different cars uh, who are about the same pace around Lime Rock. So it should be... It's basically BOP'd cars that are very, very different. So it should be a very weird one. 
but it should be a lot of fun. So we'll see how that goes. Um, last chance to uh, to get your name in. Um, ooh, chariot just made it in. Bam. Okay, cool. Um, that is good. I will reload the UI. Let's <laughs> see. It's going to be so funny, this thing, man. Uh, okay, I'm looking forward to this a lot. Um, okay, single race. Uh, yeah, I've been, I've, th this idea has been running around my mind for a little bit, but I haven't really got around to doing it until now. What is it? Lime Rock Marbles. There it is. 44 entries. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Put me last because I'm not racing. So track option rolling start. Now we'll do a standing start. That's more fun. Um, disable car damage. No, we'll do 10 laps. Um, my opponents are all different cars. Okay, let's go. Lenny trucks. No, we're, we're doing fairly fast cars. I could do slower ones later on another time, but not today. Or maybe today, maybe later today, but if this goes well. We shall see. All right, let me turn my... Let me turn this thing off, because otherwise it's illegal. Um, I'll put this on. Actually, ah, whatever. Overlays. Okay, should be fine. All right, guys. So take a look. Let's go. Market underscore maker underscore. Let's go, racers. Hey, of us can win this except rest the chat. They suck. They suck. Let's go. Salvatore underscore R just resubscribed for 18 months. Hey, man. Why are your pants still on? That was ages ago. Now these. I need to fix these alerts. I don't know why they're so so far behind. <laughs> um, yeah, so check this out. This is these are your car uh, car colors, same as your Twitch chat color. Um, we've got uh, this skill. All right, whatever. It's too late. It's too late. Um, let me just adjust the overlays real quick. Uh, delete this. If I can. Thank you. And then we'll move this. Wait, what? We'll move that there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, here we go, guys. So um, let's see what this grid looks like. Oh my god, what a mess. What an absolute let's go mess. Racers. Have us can win this except rest the chat. They suck to call you to call call. Look at this grid, man. It's so. So there's GT1s, GTEs, Formula or Indy Pro, Radicals, and that's it. That's all of them, I think. Yeah. Okay, these cars are all fairly fast. A lot of GTEs up front. So, um, yeah, on pole position, we got Freelance Cultist. Freelance Cultist takes pole position from Tech Cart. Tech Cart there in P2. Uh, third place, it's Real Fake Door Salesman with Dork joining him on the second row of the grid. We got Peewood Flyer starting in fifth in the in the big mate. And then we got the bar side in the Indy Pro starting in P6. Uh, the fourth row of the grid consists of Rest of Chat there. Rest of Chat has an Indy Pro, those of you guys that didn't, didn't get to sign up. We should make a new Rest of Chat, which is just YouTube viewers. Chonky Mission 8. Oh, we have on the TV. So we got Mission, uh, Rest of Chat here um, for those of you guys that didn't get to sign up. Uh, then we got Lollipop Monster alongside him on row number four. Mean Beans starts in ninth position with LFS MX, the first of our GT1 runners. There's no multi-class here. These are all competing for the overall win. They should be around the same pace. They should be within a second of each other around here anyway, according to the fastest times on Garage 61. So that's the top 10. Uh, behind them, we got Andrew, Pedal, me, I'm in here. Uh, Shani, Moby, Holy Potato, Korma, Crikey George, Chariot, Sequence, and Bark, Bark. Fuck. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what the grid looks like. In last place, let's see who's last. It's Satnav. Satnav's in the Ferrari. 
So, let's go. Let's get this shit show on the road, shall we? <laughs> All right, we got drone cam to start the race off. We've got freelance cultist. Uh, close to you on the screen, on the right side of the grid. It is Tech Card, and away they go! A fantastic start from Freelance Cultist. Although, alongside pulling him, alongside, it's it's uh, Tech Card. Freelance Cultist gets into T1 first. Let's look a bit further back. These uh, There's the Indy Pro trying to get through these two big mates. That's Barside trying to make his squeeze his way through. It looks like they've been fairly clean so far as they head into the right-hander. Uh, a little bit of frame drops there. I put a lot of special effects on my replay. It doesn't seem to be helping out too much. we got GT1 going side by side with uh, a GTE. That's LFS and Lollipop Monster. LFS gets the better of them this time. Should be slightly quicker on the straight as they head through. Send it through the right-hander. we got side by side here with the Radical. Oh, and a spin further back. Huge drama. Cars everywhere. Peregrine's gone around. I didn't see what started that, but there's definitely a bit of a traffic jam up here. Cars everywhere. It looked like it was this uh, this Porsche here. Which Porsche was that? That's Shani. Shani was spinning and caused all kinds of dramas, but they're all getting sorting themselves out. Bark, 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 and Salvatore rejoining the race. But up at the front, it's Freelance Cultist from Tech Car. Real fake door salesman. Hot on his heels. As they head into uh, the uphill bend now, followed closely by Dork and P Wood Flyer. Bar side, the first non GT. Oh, God, they've crashed. The GTEs have gone round. Two Porsches, Real Fake Door Salesman and Freelance Cultist. They were having such a great race and now they're going to spin right to the back. Oh my god, a big jump there from the uh, from Q Block. Let's have a look how, they, how much they jump back there. That's crazy, man. The GTE is absolutely flying over this hill. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> this was a great decision, this track. Okay, fantastic. So in the lead now is Tech Cart from Dork. This is lap 3 out of 10. P Wood Flyer holding a podium spot at the moment. But our fastest formula car at the moment, non-GTE runner, non-BMW M8 actually, is, uh, is Barside. Uh, followed closely by Resta Chat doing really well this today. We've got the leader coming up over the top of the hill. These mates look all over the place, man. Look at everyone jump over there. That is totally outrageous. <laughs> Even the radicals getting some air, man. I love this. Okay, anyway, back to the leader. Um, so, Tech Car still leads. Second place, Dork. P Wood Flyer. Let's see what's going on. Oh, a little bit defending there from LFS MX. From me, I'm up into seventh place. Uh, up five places from a starting spot. The biggest mover at the moment is Minuit. Oh, no, it's actually McFillin up 15 spots. No, that's not. It's actually Icarus up 17. Do not exceed the safety car delta. In P26 at the moment. So, they're doing a great job at the moment. Let's see the, the jump again. Woo! Oh, the Formula car really sticking to the ground there. And that's a, that's really good for Barside. And surely Barside... Oh, there's a bit of smoke there. Didn't see where that was from. Surely Barside's going to have a move at some point here. Or someone's going to go spinning ahead of him. Those BMWs are not really staying on the ground particularly well. Uh, here we go. The superior straight line of LFS MX in the GT1 going straight past. Rest of chat going down two places now as I get past as well. And that was really, really, really smart from LFS MX. Just sitting behind in the corners and using the superior straight line to uh, undermine his rivals. Uh, so we've got Tech Card here. Let's see if we can get another angle of this jump. Woo! I can't really see it from that angle. We'll just go back to the normal angle. Oh my god, look at them jump in the background. They're just about holding on. The bar side being held up here from P Wood Flyer. Surely that's going to leave LFS MX to try something onto the straight here. With that superior straight line speed of that Aston Martin. Is he going to go for it? Mm, no, sort of. Yes, he is. There he goes. There he goes. And I follow him through as well. Do I? Oh, Barside holds on with a superior, superior open wheel traction or grip and downforce. And I'm going around the outside of LFS MX. With the rest of the chat snooping in there as well. But the door is shut firmly by LFS. This is a great little battle then. Good little, uh, good dynamic on here. I like this. So, Dork still in second place. Oh, oh God, I thought P1 just crashed then. As they all do the customary wheelie. Oh, my God, that Ford GT does not look very good over that jump. Mean Beans, he's not crashed yet, but surely it's a matter of time. Oh, down the inside. Or around the outside. Of, there goes Barside. But it's not worked out for him. Barside goes out. 
Oh, and he's he's still he's still in the race, but he's going to rejoin. Oh no, he's going to stop. He's going to stop the car right by the opening in the barrier, and he's going to wait for the whole field to go past him. That is a shame. Let's see what happened here. I didn't see what the start of that was. It looked like it was me going down the inside into the final corner. Oh, big move there. Let's go, me. Absolutely not. Not sure Barside will be too happy about that as uh, he gets going finally, but he's way behind if I can find anyone that's on the right place. Oh, God, they are all over the place, man. They look like the tires are wearing off. They look even more out of control every single lap. So, oh, down the inside, LFS looking, snooping on me. As I start to try and shape up, he would fly here. Does the Radical have any straight line speed here? Oh, it does. It does. It has great straight line. And through sneaks LFS as well. LFS. Oh, does he know? P Wood holding on the outside. They go side by side through Big Bend. Now it swaps the M8 on the inside. Side by side here for P4 in the race. Oh, and P Wood fly. Goes a bit too wide out there. Now he's coming under pressure from rest of chat. Carrying the hopes of and dreams of everyone else. And it's shaping up to be a shootout. <laughs> side by side. Oh, no. He would fly a drop in like a stone at the moment. And there goes another radical. Chari chariot. Chariot. Goes through. On P would fly. P would with a better exit though. Chariot has to settle in behind. But he might have another go with the superior straight line. They're trying to go three wide into turn one. Not quite. Not quite going to work out for them. Around the outside goes Andrew Petty. With that extra grip. That extra downforce of the, uh, the Indy Pro. Anyway, meanwhile, all this stuff's been going on. We got Tech Kai on the lead by quite a way. I see him go over the jump this time. He's on his penultimate lap. It's going pretty well for him so far. I see in the background all the cars making the jump. So let's see Dork. This is probably the, the highest battle we're going to see here. Oh, LFS taking a peek. Who will get this second place? It's going to be tough for Dork to hang on with the superior straight line of the radical behind. And come on me. Yes, yes, yes. Very nice. Up into second I go. Let's go me. LF, LFS didn't quite get the memo that we were overtaking a, net, a mate this time, but um, surely I'm just going to pull away here with a better... Surely that Radical is faster than a GTE. But the GTEs do have a lot of downforce. So let's see. Last lap though, as Tech Car goes up over the jump. Holds on. Oh my God, I'm all four wheels off the track. I'm almost catching. As we see Dork and LFS MX, who's going to get the run to the line? But up at the front, it's going to be Tech Car. Tech Car is going to take a win. Sensational win from me in second place. Then we got Dork defending from LFS MX to hold down to that podium with the uh, rest of chat putting in a fine performance just there to, to carry that uh, top five, rest of chat to top five. Lollipop Monster finishes in sixth place, followed by um, Peewood Flyer, who got overtaken over the line. That must have been a really close finish here with Chari Chariot. Chariot. Let's see over the line. Oh, okay. He was defending a little bit there. That's the finish with uh, Peewood Flyer and Chariot. And then behind that, Andrew Petty and Mean Beans also with a photo finish there. What a fantastic race. CXLD just missed out on the top 10. But uh, who was the biggest mover? Is Minwit? Was it up 15? No, it was Rogstan? No, Icarus? Icarus up 18. I think that was the biggest mover in 25th. Great race from uh, from Icarus. We didn't see any of it, unfortunately. But there he is in the uh, GTE Porsche. Purple highlights. But the winner of the race. He's got to be happy with that. Where is he? Tech Cart takes the win. A sensational victory up one place from his grid spot but he did well to uh to hold on to that and there's me right behind in second place up 10 places a lot better than i was expecting but it's a win from tech car gg tech car well done well done that was really fun i'm gonna do this more i'm definitely gonna do this more man this was awesome <laughs> So nice to have different dynamics of like top speed. So they, the AI actually overtake each other for once. Very nice. Very nice. We could do this any track as well. Any track. I might do Le Mans Historic after this. This would be, that would be 
funny. See if there's any any close competition. <laughs> Mr. Beans! Let's go! Mean Beans 31 just Oh, subscribed. Mean Beans, sorry. <laughs> Why don't I read Mr. Beans? Mean Beans! Thank you. Thank you for the sub, man. The tier one. Let's go. That was pretty giga. Rodalanta Club. Ah, oh, of course. Yeah. Um, well, next one. We're going to do the IMSA now in the GTP. Um, let's go. Let's sign up. Let's do it. It's way too chill, this music. Um, um, oh, shit. Hang on. What am I doing? Addy Cup. Wait, join. Caddy Cup Sebring. Bam. Okay, perfect. Wrong one. Busan! Busan! Let's go! Let's go! Perfect. All right, guys, let's go. I'm so, I'm I'm stoked. I'm 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 looking forward to doing this. This is a uh, Caddy Cup. <laughs> Basically at the uh, at Sebring. So everyone's um everyone's very much in the Cadillac here. Does everything have the Road America short circuit that's essentially just a rectangle? No, that, I don't think that's a real layout, to be honest. Uh, let's check racing circuits. What they think. Uh, Road America. I think it's just a Forza thing, to be honest. Be honest, I think it's just a Forza the thing. Yeah. Like they have the cut through, but they never use it. Just access road. Um I think maybe in the fifties. I oh know not the fifties. When they built this track initially, it was probably designed as like the intention was to use it, I suppose. But it is there. Yeah, I don't know. But it is cool that they have it. Um, I like how Forza added that one, particularly the the um, like the retro inspired um, retro inspired. Uh, what's it called? Let's go! Um, Laguna Seca one, Laguna Seca. Hit lane speed limit is Laguna Alta Loop, yeah. Clear. Push. Not sure if it's ever run. It might just be like school days and stuff. I don't know. It's a big braking zone. Like there's no runoff there. So if you do, you know, if you if your brakes do fail down there, it's a huge braking zone. You know, you're basically dead. So like the track's not designed for that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they don't really run it in anything even remotely competitive. Michelin Caddy Cup. Michelin, Michelin. Let's turn that down to what I normally have it on. Yeah, I was looking at all the old, uh, all the old Sebring layouts, man. They're really cool. Um, the way this track used to be until uh, I think it was like until the 2000s. Then they it actually took took the shape it's in now. Or maybe late 90s. 
Before that, it was like really different. Does anyone have a video of the uh, the carousel at Sebring? Because I looked, I tried to look up like uh, an onboard from uh, from Sebring back in the late eighties, I think it was. Astro Boy, thank you for the follow. Sea streamer bring home victory or something like something like that, I guess. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I don't know uh, what we're gonna expect in this race. It's gonna be very competitive. Um, this will be my first race in the Caddy this week. I did one in the Acura. Acura seemed like it was off pace. Although maybe it was just me being off pace. I'm not very good at this track. It's one of my weaker ones. What is, uh, what, where's IMSA next week? Regular ass Grand Prix this weekend. Where are they this weekend? Oh, it's Mexico, isn't it? Monza next week. Oh, God, that's going to be... F oh, God, Monza's going to be horrible. <laughs> it'll be funny, but it'll be scary. Monza's not a very, like, long track in terms of time, is it? It's like 1 minute 10 in F1, isn't it, I think? 1 minute 12? And GTPs, it'll probably be like 120 something. Turn one, here we go. Yeah, with 50 cars at Monza, dude. I mean, there's a lot of straights, so it's probably one of the better tracks for multi class, but there will be a lot of bad lunges into the chicanes. 120 in F1, oh, is it? Okay. Then GTPs, it'll be like 130 then ish, I guess. Uh, what's that, LFS? Oh, is that the carousel? Bro. Is my car electric? I mean, it has hybrid, so it's a little bit electric. Car to your left. Clear on the left side. Talking about next week, we still didn't do a lap around here. <laughs> it's only Thursday, isn't it? Is it Thursday? It is Thursday. It's Thursday. Happy Thursday, chat. CL, what's CL, Flavia? What's up, Flavia? Ah, oh, sweet LFS. Thank you, man. Uh, I will check it in a sec. I just want to do a couple laps here, so I'm not totally hopeless. Bloody Oliver. Merry Thursday. Thursday. Merry Thursday. Your quickest overall. You're currently 1.8. Quicker than second. Wow, P1. Three times fast. Skip up to like two minutes in. Okay, sweet man. Yeah, I will. I will do that. Absolutely. That sounds awesome. I think I'll finish this lap and then I'll have a look. Sector one time is good. Oh, 
Oh, I can break a bit later there. Oh. Looked like he was pulling right. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, I never. I knew the Sebring had changed a lot over the years, from like the 50s until modern day. But I didn't know how many different layouts they had. I mean, I guess it makes sense because they had so many service roads and stuff. But they used to race like on the airport as well, on the runways. That was a uh, 142.77. That, I might be wrong, but I don't think these straights were ever runways. I'm not 100% sure about that. Okay, let me get this up. Mills not only a shit race, it's a shit street. Concrete slabs and sunset were part of the time, mate. Okay. Ah, oh, sick, dude. So look, what corner is that? I, I, I love like, seeing all Eric Daly, the Irishman, driving the number 84 Nissan ZX Turbo, which was the pole at a record-breaking 127 plus miles per hour by co-driver Chip Robinson. So let's see, they go over the track layout here, yeah. So look at this, man. So T1's the same. Then it's up through turn two, just a little jog to the right. Then up to turn and there's a three, massive carousel. The carousel, and you might see lots of passing going into this turn during the race. Then it's a big long Why did they get rid of that, man? That looks like right. a great corner. The will be accelerating under the <laughs> they have sped this up a little bit. That's the hairpin. The camel hairpin, where cars will be dropping all the way down to first gear. Then there's a the fast chicane right. here, which actually looks really cool. And then left. Then on to warehouse straight to turn eight, a 90 degree. And right. then they go straight even f longer than they do now. The cars will be accelerating under the way down. Turn eight, a 90 degree right hander. Right, and then left. So look, then on to warehouse they go right there. We go right ne there now. Straight. To but they go straight right way longer. And then a, quick straight down to turn nine with and then a little and then flick, right? And, the water tower onto the long straight that and then all this is like outside of... And the oh no, that's the, that's the same bit. Here the GT and then a long right hander. In excess of 180 miles an hour. They're just flying! 13, and then Look at him go! The front straight and the start finish line. The <laughs> one laps here of just under two minutes. The weather always a wild. The Toyota. Look at this ba massive back straight as well. Their presence at Sebring. Just they'll go down now into what's known as the hairpin. Bruce Levin goes to the outside. He'll go around the knee. Let's see the start. Pixels. Yeah, I don't know how easy it is to see. There's a huge warehouse on the inside there. And then they go into this carousel, which is what, what I was looking for. That's where they turn left now. And then just go right around that huge left hander. It's so cool. Cool, man. I'm sad they got rid of that because the, the, the current bit is super clunky. At the hairpin, Derek Daly brings the 84 car right up onto the back side of the Porsche. And right behind him comes the those are those second Nissan ZX Turbo. S's. As they go down what's known as Warehouse Straight, it's the Porsche ahead by five, six, seven car lengths. I don't know, man. To me, this this version of the track seems way cooler. That corner is probably quite annoying. Yeah, it's really cool to see. So then now we recognize this bit, right? But then the, instead of doing a chicane here, they just do a massive right-hander. Oh wait, that's still the left-hander. Just one subscribe for 14 months. The last streamer, it's me, your only viewer. 
Thanks, Toich, for being my only viewer. I, I, I respect the uh, commitment. Like to see a track with better surface. I mean, the surface here looks a lot better than it does now. So look how smooth it looks. Yeah, it's actually really cool, isn't it? It's just Camel GT, isn't it? It's really good quality, yeah. I'm going to like this video. I love this. Oh, but it's 69. I'm going to have to do it. I'm sorry. Yeah, super cool, man. I wish we had this version of the track on iRacing. Like, you know, I know of Sebring... It's a, is it's iconic and stuff, and it, it is a cool track, but I want to try this other one, man. It looks great. Anyway, guys, uh, I have to qualify now. If I can find my mouse. Where's my mouse? <laughs> wait, 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 hang on here. Fuck. Okay, I, I found it. The mouse was just gone. Okay. Um, Sebring, quality set. Done. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I had to play freaking hide and seek with the mouse, man. Why did I never turn to drug smuggling? It takes it's clear. All right, Emilio. Who says Cops. I didn't? Two laps to get the job done, mate. Randy Lanier. On the. See, I want to just go straight now. There's just a, a barrier there, and we have to do this awkward little thing. I mean, this part of the track's kind of fun, I guess, but it would have been so much cooler to do that big old carousel. Netflix documentary, yeah, I saw it. It's great. It's, in, it's bad sport, isn't it? The need for weed. It's amazing. Amazing story. It's one of my favorite episodes of anything ever, honestly. It's fucking crazy. Like, you, ha you, don't, you don't at all need an interest in motorsport to watch that. That is, like, that is such a crazy story. Like the whole pit crew, they're just drug smugglers and they're running around with Rolexes while all the other mechanics are, you know, they've got... <laughs> they're all just wearing like gold chains and Rolexes. These guys, fucking hell. Okay, do we have enough time to do laps here? I think so. You hockey players. Why hockey players, man? I mean, obviously it's still like, you shouldn't be doing it, but for racing, it's quite expensive to fund that shit. So it makes more sense. I mean, ho hockey players doing it just sounds greedy, man. It's like, I'm not making enough money as a hockey player, I better do some fucking smuggling. Good job for this point. Gretzky, I I don't really know I've heard of Gretzky, but I really don't know who what he did. I'm assuming he's pretty good at hockey. Ice hockey. Why does no one watch normal hockey, man? They just watch the hockey on ice variant. In American football, just drugs in general. Call sign BH, thank you for the follow.
Ah oh, shit, Jaden's here. Beckham's here. Matt's here. Valentin. It's a tough grid. It's a tough grid. I'm not going to fight for the win here, I don't think. I mean, I'll try, but... Not with the amount of time I've been spending doing other things this week. All the heavy hitters. Where's Pablo, man? Where's Basic Ollie? I was having so much fun with those guys last week. Well, we'll have fun with these guys as well, I'm sure. That's a new fastest lap for we need Samsoid back so I can redeem myself. Pablo is Ren Sporting. Wait, is there a Ren Sport thing going on? Or is he just yeah, driving zero. that game? Oh, is there like an event? Slap soid. He slapped me. Uh, I needed seven tenths in this lap, but I'm not getting it. Pablo has 11 times the viewers of the Rensport stream. How many viewers does the Rensport stream have? Like 100? They should hire him, man. Didn't even go quick a second lap. V8. All right, running a quick ad now. And I'll be right back. Yeah, it's pretty average quality, to be honest. Kind of what I expected. I can wear my livery with pride again now since I've beaten the game again. Redline has 1.1k stream in it. Official Porch Twitch channel has 86. Fuck no. Well, it's like, it's because it's a uh, different platform, man, isn't, it? isn't it? I can't really buy engagement or whatever on Twitch. You can, you can, you can pay for like exposure on YouTube and stuff, but not on Twitch really, which is good. <laughs> Uh, do I have the right setup on? Yes, it's race setup. Sebring, perfect. Okay, boys, this will be an interesting one. Uh, I don't know which tires to take. We'll probably take rears. So let's see. Hello, Yumbo. 
What did Rob say? I hate these companies coming and do yeah, stuff in esports, then leave and moan it was shit just because they didn't do it properly. Yeah, yeah. Piece, yeah. I mean, it takes Celsius. takes time to build up stuff. Yeah. Follow car number 21 in the right column. Yeah, please wait. Don't tell me what to do. It's a racing esport. Yeah, it's uh, it's just been Dead announced spirit. like uh, last week or something. Just it's really cool. Away, They're gonna do it's like a trial season, basically like four events, I think. Yeah, drive until you need the refuel or something. Finish though. Yeah, it's really cool. I'll stop and start at the back. You need to catch up to the guy ahead. The fuck is going on here? Wish granted, yeah, bam. Even long established sim racing, yeah, sim racing. Sim racing is a weird one because it's never going to be. Well, not never, but like the potential for it. Wait, am I supposed to be? Yeah, I'm supposed to be behind this guy. The potential for it to be bigger than it's never going to be bigger than real life motorsport because it's pretend. It's like it's trying to be real life, like as close to real life motorsport as possible. So it's never going to like overcome it because fundamentally, real sport, real motorsport is a lot cooler than sim racing and more interesting. Uh, I think, anyway. I don't think I don't think you'll ever get a sim racing competition being more viewed than a the same competition like that in real life. Like FIFA esport, yeah, but FIFA esport is different because it's it's a completely different thing. You know, you're in football, you're just playing with a controller, right? But in real football, you're um, you know running around kicking a ball. Too expensive to get into racing sims. Ah, it's not that expensive, man. Like, you can run it on controller. I mean, it's, it's tough. What is it? It's like 200, 200 euro wheel or something. And then, you know, you need a PC, I guess. They probably need to be like more console friendly in general before there's like mainstream or more people coming in on it. Who said controller? What? <laughs> Playing a quick folk of basic equipment, yeah. I mean, you don't need to be sitting in a rig like mine, right? But there is a certain amount, like, better equipment will make you better. Or, like, will make your races easier at the very least. But compared to real life motorsport, it's huge. So, like, I don't know. I, th I feel like more needs to be done about making sim racing like an actual viable way into real motorsport. But motorsport needs to solve a lot of its own problems before that's going to happen. Ah, oh, fuck. Go. Anyway, off we go. This is fuck, man. Oh my god, we were three wide. Left. Still there. Hold on. Hold your line. Clear left. On your right. Hold it. Clear the right. What the fuck is going on? They're three wide. Right. Clear to your right. Stay right. Clear to your left. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, man. That is intense as hell, dude. That's the most fiery opening lap I've been in part of in iRacing. Normally everyone's just trying not to hit each other. That was crazy, man. Minimal death, though. Just super aggressive. I like it. It was fun. 
I mean, I got out better than most people in that one, but... went a little bit so I gained one place in that going for grass pass ended with ass pass it feels like I got full on brain damage Chizzy TV thank you for the follow Fucking turn, you bastard. Holy shit. Oliver, I think the follow. Okay, let's see if we can get some sort of rhythm here. Um, see if we can get a top five, man. They're very close up there, though. Let's see what the race brings, anyway. Never know what's possible until the race is over. <laughs> well, we're not too far behind P2, anyway. If I can just get my shit together, drive okay. I'm catching this BMW here. Looks like they're racing quite a lot though. Who's Norbert? With the grass pass. The lap time was at 142.85. Fuck. Oh, I didn't see. I wasn't looking at the names when they were, when they were going on the grass ahead of me. Like saving fuel or something. Yeah, pretty even with this BMW guy. And Raf up ahead. They're gonna fight a bit soon. See what those times are like. So bad, man. Come on. The gap two. Knows it. Behind is now 4.3. Yeah, it was similar pace to P3 there, anyway. Can definitely drive a bit better and get up to that kind of speed. No Acura, no. Because the Acura, I was just slowing it, so I. 
got beaten by Sam Soid, so. <laughs> so I'm blaming the car. Question? Ah, uh, man. The gap in front is now. Uh, I'm definitely missing something in that corner. Oh wow, we're already catching GTs. It's only lap five, Jesus. Hard your right, the right. Jesus Christ, man, that is the worst place to catch him on that street. Seventh position. Bad quality, yeah. Bad pace, man. I'm not the. Uh, this is my first race this week in this car. At this track, so. Just getting used to it. Watch your right, clear on the right side. That last lap was at 143.5. Oh shit, they're getting too wide. Right side, clear to your right. Let me just sneak in here, boys. On the right, clear right. Okay, Emilio, slow. Right side, clear on your right. Check your left. Clear on the left side. Stay left. Clear on the right side. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, it's 5.5 soft, so give me a break, man. Come on. Uh, I could have gone for that. Left side. Left side clear. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 1.3 seconds. Oh, really, Jim? I wonder why that is. Thank you very much for that useful information. <laughs> oh god. Car left, you're clear left. Yeah, what is it, 5.5? I didn't even check it before. But like a lot of the top guys, they're going to be doing the MC Esports series. So they have. They're going to be working on like setups and whatever. A lot. On your right. And a lot of practice. Right. So I'm not really. I, don't know. I mean, obviously, if I could get one of them, I'd be pretty happy, but. Right side. You're clear it's not right. really my class. I didn't get invited, so... <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to hang with them anyway. 
I still don't know how to make setups in these cars. I was trying some setups like at Le Mans, but I don't know, man. It's quite tough. This car just feels like it has a lot of understeer high speed. Like, the slow speed's okay. Or the slow speed's fine, I would say. It's more than my driving in the slow speed, but high speed just seems super understeery. Okay, I think this race can be battle for P5. Looks like Valentin's getting away a little bit. Yeah, this is the apex set. I mean, it's not a bad setup at all, but it's just, um, you know, this setup is made for, you know, anyone. It has to be made in like a few days or something. So it's not going to be like hugely optimized. It's going to be pretty good, but it's not going to be like the best setup you'll ever be able to get on this car. Anyway, I don't want to complain too much about the setup. The setup's the least of my problems at the moment. I need to get the rhythm in first before I start complaining about the setup. Too much. <laughs> Owen, could you give me more grip, please? Apex, give me more grip. Like, more grip and more power. That'd be great, thanks. Yeah, it's a big field of very high strength of field. Commercial product, yeah. I mean, they wouldn't want to put out their like 100% perfect setups anyways and the opponents would use them. But it would be like a couple tenths off, really. Let's go! Maybe. Just resubscribe for five months. Yeah, if I want to get, if I want to be like racing people like Jaden and, and Becca and stuff, I need to uh, make my own setups. Or know how to improve my own ones. Ah, shit, man. And then also drive better. <laughs> Look how far is down to P8, man. And then not hit the walls. No damage, good. Come on, man. My goal, yeah, I want to get a P5, though. I think I can get a P5 in this race. I just need to drive a bit better. Ciao, thank you for following. Uh, sub man. The gap in front is increasing. It's now yeah, it was half seconds. a second off. Well, half a second is quite a lot. They're doing 42. I could do those times, man. I'm just driving badly. Falling back, man. Maybe I'm just bad at this track. It is one of my weaker tracks. For sure. Come on ahead. 
I mean, I did a lot of Le Mans last week. I got quite good at Le Mans, though, after a while. I just need more driving around here. Oh, there's Lemonhead, lol. <laughs> I didn't see. Okay, <laughs> we're keeping up with, with P6 now. How am I going slower than I was at the start of the race? We're keeping up with P6 now. That lap was at 143.00. That's a bit better. Second run through the Coming GTs. How many space do you need? Right side, right side clear. All right, Emilio, the pit window is now open. Got two minutes of fuel remaining. Is it worth pitting before we catch the GTs? I think it is. It's the only way I'm getting anything out of this, I think. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. Okay, quite a few people pitting. P5. <laughs> Everyone else pitted. Cup times are pretty consistent. Okay, well, we're going to just do the opposite of what everyone else does. It's good for me. Need an offset for something to happen. Although, I think I'll pit next lap. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to take any tires either. Are people taking tires this week, actually? The gap ahead is now 1.5 seconds. Yeah, there's an, there's an overtake attack mode. You did one time, you regret it, okay. A group of slow Why on that guy's side, man? No okay, tires. The whole right side. <laughs> Stay okay, right, you man. left. Left. You're clear left. Pit lane speed limit is 72 kilometers per hour. Box in five, four, three, two, one. 
Box now. Uh, my guy's right there. <laughs> it's so hard to see him. Okay, we're in the right gear. Uh, we're taking too much fuel. I don't know. We might be taking one lap too much fuel. Whatever. We'll see. Okay, we got that guy in the box. Let's go. Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. Giga, P6 now. Net, anyway. Thirty-one-ish liters. I can't remember how much I put in. Slower class car. Yeah, I prefer crew chief. The in-game spotter is a bit clueless sometimes. Did someone just fly off to the left in my mirror? <laughs> Fucking rip. The guy behind is now not this guy protect. absolutely murdered by Rafter, I think. Greg, I still have to piss and you do some time against people that you actually race against. Yo, Alex, what's up, man? What's up, Alex? How was your day? How was your stream, man? What happened? What happened? We undercut someone in the pit lane. Or well, we overtook someone in the pit lane. That's what happened. F4 is at Watkins, isn't it, this week? Oh, wait, we're going to get some, through some traffic. Oh, please don't go too wide, please. Oh, thank fuck. You're coming upon some slower cars. These guys are busy fighting. They might not notice you. Car right. Clear right. Right side, clear right. Incident in the hairpin, it looks like. Yeah, welcome everyone. Guys, go follow Alex if you don't already. Excella plays. Yeah, the damage report is the only thing I use from the, uh, the iRacing spotter. But I just have it in text form so it doesn't say anything. Okay, we got two guys here. You're coming up on a slower car. Ah, oh, but Lena hasn't pitted yet. Watch your right. Clear on your right. The guy in front is. Man B. Should you get out of the way? Ah, nice. Right. Right. Giga Lena. Thank you, Lena. Great move. Keep it up. Yeah, she was not on our... Uh, we were not racing her directly. She hasn't pitted yet. 20 minutes remaining. You've got 20 the GT3 minutes tried to block Raph. You've just done <laughs> I didn't see. We'll I just saw a GT3 going off. <laughs> off to the left. In my mirror. He's being held up here. This is good for me. If I can navigate my way through that bit of the track. Right side. Clear on the right side. A bee in a van. Does she stream from a van? What are you calling the caddy a van? Fuck that. Where am I going? Shit. It's annoying. Oh, Lena Van B. Uh, uh, I get it now. It was a total pun. It was a full pun. <laughs> I 
Get out, Trans. But yeah, what's up? Thank you, Alex, again for the raid. Hope you had a good one over there. So great to see him back. Been missing that F4 content. I've been wondering what's happened for so long, and now finally Alex is asking the right questions. A van down by the river. There you are. What's up, man? Yeah, it's good, man. Hope you had a good one. Like I'm kind of wondering whether it's worth pitting early because you have to go through the GTs anyway. Although the G some of them might pit. When are we seeing you in IMSA, Alex? I mean, there's no voice chat here, unfortunately. But Kev, thanks for the thank you for the follow. Three point B class. Ah, oh, soon. Hashtag soon. TM. The leader, Jasser, is pitting. Yeah, we get free Super Formula coverage. There's only like seven Super Formula races a year, though, isn't there? There's not that many. Okay, Emilio. The next car is Acria. You got undercars before the. Uh, First LMP2s. It's good to know, Lemon. Oh man, it's just there's just this little bit of understeer in it. I might just change the anti-roll bar a tiny bit. I feel like I've worn my fronts and overheated them a little bit. I just need to bring them back a little bit. Man. Just plowing everywhere. Um, this is a race F4, no way the safety rating can survive, yeah. Depends on the track. Class car ahead. But generally, yes. I can't find the right balance for trail braking, man. I feel like I'm, I'm either braking too early in some corners, too late in others, hitting all the curbs, I'm washing wide. Oh, fuck. Just there, it's just so bad. You want A-class next week for Monza? What, just to immediately lose it? <laughs> Wild brake migration? I don't think so. I think it's just... Minutes left. Just understeer. On your right. Your clear right. V6. You've just done a 143.37. Look at this fucking understeer, man. It's just too much, man. Probably because I came right out of the Porsche, and the Porsche loves it when you lean on the front tires into corners. You can like fully control the the understeer slash oversteer on the brake like all the way in. Whereas this thing, you need to have like two Coming steps. Up on a slower class car. You need to have braking and then turning. Feels like anyway. You need to brake and then trail brake while you turn in. Whereas the Porsche is just like, feels like it's directly correlated to where your foot is, is how much you can turn. Now, 1. 1 seconds. 
you can modulate the amount of oversteer. Whereas this thing just does not give you oversteer, even if you brake super late, it just understeers more, which is, for me, it's just hard to wrap my head around in certain situations. Left side. Clear on the left side. Oh my god, man. <laughs> you have to underdrive it so much in the entry there. about the pork is slower yeah but I mean the pork in uh, ES in the not ESS the GTE series the GTE pork that's what I meant and here it just turns too well man it's break too early just so off on the rhythm through here man <laughs> Little G, uh, Nathan, yeah. Slow I just got the GT pork and it's really nice. I was doing a Dunkathlon. Yeah, man, just type it, man. No worries. It sounded like there was some worries there. They should give a trophy for most amount of voice chat in every race. Get an achievement. Biggest chatterbox. Rain de Boer. Normally it's Kimmy, but Kimmy's not here today. Sag. Don't encourage them. It's good content though. No! <laughs> that last lap was a 143.40. It just plows so much. a group of slower class cars. Right. Right side clear. Okay, let's get this LMP before the corners, hopefully. It would be nice if you give me some room, I was on the curb. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 1.3 seconds. There's an incident in Le Mans. It looks like it's Arrow. There's always an incident in Le Mans, I swear. Okay, Amelia, I don't get them to Limburg. Okay, put them to it. Ah, uh, sorry. Thank you, Nick. Great job, man. Well drive, man. Your You're the only one driving left. here. It's a car exit in the pits. No, I'm driving. Oh, dude, I just changed the brake bias more to the rear, and now the, now the fronts came alive again. Holy shit, man. That is such a big difference, dude. I went half, half a... Uh, Half a percent to the rear, and now the fronts work again. Coming up on a slower class car. Lifted. Thank you for the follow. Car to your left. You're clear left. That's mental, man. That is mental. Look how much quicker I'm going. Three tenths already. 
best, my previous best. It's going to get a bit sketchy here. On the left, slower cars ahead, including the club. Hold your line. Hold your line. Three left. On your left, clear on the left. Good. Kim is getting re-educated. Oh god, where have you sent him? Fighting like that, long to go. There's not that long to go. <laughs> Sixth place. Stay left. They're in the right. Go, go, go. Yeah, he's close behind. But now I've got my fronts in. I think I'll have the pace to, right, to get away from him. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Like it was going three different directions then. The gap behind is now 0.9. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Slower class car ahead. Okay, we'll get this guy on the outside. Left side, clear to your left. <laughs> okay. Alright, a bit of clear right now. Until we get to the GTD leaders and then there's a lot of space. Until the finish. Oops. The stewards have warned us for cutting the track. Keep it between the white lines. Slower cars ahead. These guys are slugging it out for position. The class leaders in this group. We get both the... Left. Left side clear. Left side. Clear on the left side. Okay, wasn't sure we were actually going to get that, that's fine. Okay, we've got a bit of space now. Stay behind to spectate. No, I'm doing a race, man. Give me a break, man. Come on. Chat doesn't get everything. Sorry, guys. Can't do it. Okay, Emilio, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Focus on the exits. We can go faster here. Whatever, man. Fuck off, Jim. I'll do what I want! You're not my dad! Fucking dead, Jim. Oh, well, that was a big curb. <laughs> Not really designed for GTPs. I am your father. No, you're not. 
Are you? There we go, Raf. Still 1.4 behind. Man, that pit stop really helped a lot. He was, I was so lucky he had a guy in front of him. Gambling me. Maybe I will do. Nah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we'll do after this. I'll either do PCC or Super Formula. I think Super Formula is on the uh, on the fixed, so I might do that. Thank you, mate. Okay, we got a lap too much fuel in anyway. Raf must have put shitloads of fuel in. We've been with Super Formula around Suzuka, yeah, I feel like we kind of have to, don't we? How I switch so much? Everything brakes, turns, accelerates so much differently. Oh, um, I mean, it's just, I guess it's just practice, man. I spent a lot of time doing this. I mean, fundamentally, it's the same thing. I don't know, to me anyway. Like, the only things I think about are where to get off the brakes and how much you can trail brake into corners and stuff like that. Otherwise, yeah, just picking, like, braking markers helps a lot and picking them up quickly uh, what else yeah the rest of it I guess I just figure out but yeah those things help a lot uh, I want more lap <sighs> Skill issue. One more lap to go. That lap was a 142.78. That's your quickest lap. Very little fuel left. Go into attack mode here. I mean, it's not an issue if uh, if you're fine with what you got. I'm actually hacking, yeah. You see all these overlays on the screen? I can see them too, so I can see all this data I hacked into the mainframe. I look at every single number on my screen at all times. That's LMDH SOF. 5.5 Yeah, they're doing 42.3 for Jaden We're running on fumes, mate mm, It's around 7, 8 tenths to P1 there's definitely more time I can find on myself, but I won't find eight or seven, seven or eight tenths. Just on my own. Yes, sir. It's now later. Nice last corner. <laughs> <sighs> now I'm two seconds faster. That was great. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Finish. Good result, mate. Well done. Which hacks did you I use? I'll uh, wait for the straight uh, signal for them. That was fun. 
Well, it was entertaining. I don't know. Was it entertaining, chat? What do you think? I mean, I. It was only really the pit stop anything happened. And then lap one, man. Lap one was crazy. They say you can't win the race in lap one, but dude. I don't know who said that, man. You can definitely win the race in lap one. You see that race I had yesterday where he got the good yeah, start. Right. He literally won the race on the, good. On the start. Good change, Aiden. You're way too fast. Okay, so this was the start of the race. Where am I? I'm in there. Big mouth, that's me. Okay, yeah, so I didn't see we were three wide. How was it three wide? Could I have known it was three wide? Oh, I see. Uh, it was a cheat start. That's where you win the race, lap one, turn one, exactly. At least in uh, real life Formula 3. Good race, Corby. Or an F1 in the mid 2000s. Yeah, so I didn't know we were three wide. I, I never listened to my spotter, so. He probably told me. So I just turned into this guy. I was like, what was he doing out here? And then, oh shit, there was another car. How much FPS? Uh, I don't know, like 100 and. Like it's capped on 165 because that's what my monitors do. Um, I don't know. Like right now I'm getting like 43, but it's Sebring. And I turned all the effects on and stuff. So this was this was pretty intense. So they went three wide. And then they all break too late. And I just snuck through. Whoop. That was quite nice. What's up, Dan, anyways? How you doing, man? How you doing, man? Ugh. <sighs> That's a glove printing. I was watching part of that. I just ducked in for, for that glove printing set. Hey, Ghana, sorry, what, 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 was it yesterday? Fuck it. <laughs> Livery. Oh, wait, we got drone cam for this. Look at this. This is going to be epic. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. We got to get right, the right framing. In a world. Where sp the need for speed is the need to survive. One man makes it three wide into the hairpin at Sebring. Something like that. Non stop flat out. Oh, that's so cool, man. Awesome, dude. Glad to hear that, man. That's it's cool. It's going so well. I'm American. Yeah. I don't know if I told you guys. An American. I'm a real American. I'm a, I'm a genuine American. This is my flag. I keep it back there because I'm American. I'm massively American. And there's nothing you can do about it. God set. No, that's not the one. Uh, what, how's it go again? Stars and stripes on the flag. I like them a lot. Something like that. So that's, uh, yep. That's it. Yeah, I think that's it, right? How I remember it anyway. Cue fireworks during the mid middle of the day. In the daytime, exactly. <laughs> Where's the music on? Nailed it, boo. <laughs> Look at this. This was crazy, man. I kind of just want to watch the start from like TV cam because there was so much shit going on. So there's Beckham. In we all go into turn one, side by side for second place with Valentin Bonnie. 
and uh, Jaden. Jaden's running that. Ben Q livery. We're trying to go th four, five, six wide through here. One guy off there. That was right in front of me. Goes wide. Then we got some side-by-side -side action. Someone's off up there. That's Will Murdoch. He would never recover. Right, recover to an eighth. And then we got three wide here. Jesus Christ, man. This was so cool. Oh, they outbreak each other. And through go Clement and Bernstorff. Man, the first lap here was properly hectic, man. It was great. Las Vegas GP National Anthem. The Las Vegas National Anthem. Oh, down the inside goes that BMW. Oh, Jesus. No, but all over the place. As we get, the Porsche just drives into the back of him, but it's okay. A little bit more action behind Will Murdoch. We're trying to recover. From uh, and passing Andre there. Is Andre going to retaliate into here, into Le Mans? Not quite. Jesus, man. It's like a real race, dude. Like, the first lap is just insanely crazy. And then it just spreads out and then nothing happens the rest of it. Here we go. Some more action. Madsen and Tomas. Go wheel to wheel into Sunset Bend. Oh, he's now touched. I can't believe it. Tomas. Hard oh, into the wall. Oh, no, he's not going to be happy with that. The stewards will never look over there. What about the stewards will say about that? Oh, he spun again. That's really not working out for him. So many GT3 guys going over to GTP. Yeah, man. I mean, I, it's understandable, dude. Like, a lot of people are signing up for GTP these days. So you can always get a gig us off, man. I mean, it seems like there's high SOF in GTP these days. 51G impact, at least. <laughs> Oh, that is a confirmed 51G impact. Look at that entry. Whose fault was it? Was it Hamilton or Verstappen? I mean, uh, who are these guys again? <laughs> it was uh, Nick versus Norbert. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> there can only be one at fault. That was very much, that was very much a, a 51G impact moment right there. <laughs> he should have known going on the outside that that was very risky. <laughs> Sky Sports F1 says that was 100% Norbert's fault. It's a bit of a racing incident, I think, this one. Racing incident. They could both have left more room. <laughs> All right, anyway. <sighs> Do races get less? I'll just hit everyone in this corner as my break. Uh, after D license, yes. D license is pretty horrendous. C license gets better, but depends on which series you run. And then B license and above, everything's pretty pretty clean for the most part. Yeah, look how spread out they are already. There was a bit of battling back here with Jaden and uh, Valentin. More drone cam. That's the wrong way. I haven't done a single lap yet. Want to try it? The GTP race has been nuts. Yeah, I mean, they, they're they like real races a little bit more because they... I, well, I don't. You know, you, what I like about them is they're fast cars and you can bounce off each other a little bit. Like, touching each other won't result in a massive explosion like in Formula cars on iRacing. So, um, yeah, man, I it's, it's good fun, man. It's a bit of a caddy cup at the moment, although the BMW seems pretty good. It's unfortunately, the new cars just aren't very competitive around here. We've got caddy, BMW, caddy, BMW, caddy, BMW, caddy. And then another caddy. And then a BMW. And then a Porsche. What the hell is he doing in that thing? And there was the first Acura. Second last, at least. Excited for the HPD LMP2 getting new life. Yeah, hopefully, man. I'll, I'll give it a go at some point. Well, I need to for the uh, the thing. Oh, Vili on the last lap. Yeah, sorry. Gap. Play. Uh, play. Ball. Gap. Play. Ball. 
Ville on the last lap. Let's see. What has Ville been up to? He's only done 11 laps, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, you're, uh, you're Raph, I suppose. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, dear. Looks so much better with the effects on. It's cool, isn't it? Looks a bit... Yeah, I like it. I like it. Well, good race, Raph. Not quite. <laughs> he really... He really flew off. Hang on, I need a I need a static cam of this. Wait, let's just set this up. This is definitely gonna be worth it. Hang on. Static. Go to the right a little bit. Just go down. Look up. Alright. No, hang on. My god! Okay, it's happening! Oh it's a raid! Saved his race if it wasn't for the ego. Declan, thank you for the raid, man. Uh, how was your stream? I hope you had a good one. We're like just looking at a pure murder here. <laughs> Wait, I'll just let that play through. I'll just let that play through. You naughty boy, Raph. Why, why did you do that? 150. Oh god. Wait, I really I do want a static cam, like a pure static. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Here we go. All right, so we see the GTP traffic making their way through. Here the race pretty hotly contested. Here comes a little bit multi class. Oh my god. Uh, GG3 on the narrow lane. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's not get too judgmental. I've already been pretty judgmental. Let's see what happened. He's on a narrow line, but he has been just driven into a little bit. It's pretty clear that there's no space, I think. It's a bit of wishful thinking, I, hear, I think, here by Raph. I mean, the GT could do with being a bit wider. I mean, it would, but it, he doesn't have to, so... It is on the prototype, unfortunately. Normal GT3 line, yeah. Let's see the lap before for him. I think that probably is his normal line. Yeah. Go one lap back. Do I use stream labs? Uh, your iRacing stream, you mean race labs? Uh, this is caps at the moment. Yeah, he takes that line. I mean, okay, this lap, he's, he's in a battle. Let's see what he does the lap before. So, uh, yeah, it was it was the... Could have moved a tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's just doing his line, so... Yeah. Um, he could have made it easier, but he doesn't, doesn't have to, so... Oh, well. Needs a wider line. He doesn't need one. I mean, it's it's completely up to the GT where he goes. But um, he could be helpful and take a wider line. But you know, sometimes you're just doing your race and you don't see someone coming, and then you know, bam, it's over. Which is um, why the it's on the it's on the prototype to be safe in that situation. But, yeah. No, like it happens, but uh, yeah. Um. There you go. Bah, 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 bah. Let's uh, let's watch some incidents. Oh no! Oh no! What's happened here? Oh shit! Porsche out of control. Collects the uh, the Mercedes. Then, oh, Jesus. I didn't even see that guy going off. Holy moly. <laughs> Pressure of losing seconds. Yeah, exactly. Jesus Christ. 
Hit the one. Badly placed ball. Oof. And that was that for Nils. There's a card spinning here as well. Oh, that's Paolo. <laughs> oh, he just locked his rears. That was very uh, season one, 2023 of him. Oh god, he's all over the place. Oh, so this was set up the uh, the three wide incident. We already saw this a couple of times, but it's pretty cool. Let's go slow mo. Whoa! Didn't get the message. I mean, the BMW is pretty good around here. It, it won the race. That's definitely competitive. Oh, you mean he's just driving the BMW, basically, yeah. Oh, God. Man, these, this is so intense, this first lap. Oh, God, he nearly hit him. Yeah. Oh! Man, you lift and you lose, man. It's crazy. Let me get a little bit too deep in. It's flipped around 180 degrees. A bit of a stunt pass there, didn't really work. Tried the 360 overtake, but wasn't meant to be. And then we got this move, the 51G impact incoming. Boof, huge crash. Then we got people hitting the wall. Jaden doesn't count. Jaden didn't win, it was, uh, it was Beckham. Beckham won. Bonk. Oh no, did Jaden win? I thought Beckham won. Okay, yeah, Jaden won, sorry. <laughs> But there was a BMW in 4th and 5th ahead of me, so... Down the inside! Oh no! That's another 51G impact right there. Hamilton's fault. Uh, wait, who was it? Oh, that's good. What happened? What happened? Let's, let's analyze this one in excruciating detail. Down the inside. Uh... He was a bit back. He was only slightly alongside here. Uh, oh, was it the same car in the other 51 G impact? The move wasn't there. Yeah, it was very optimistic from Nick. It was more optimist Nick? Optimist Nick? <laughs> Sorry about that one, guys. I couldn't help myself. I still think it's a little bit funny. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, he could have opened the steering a little bit, but it is it is a bit of a dive in. I mean, it's, he did see it was there, so he started to turn out, I think. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little bit of a nose in. Um, next one. Nothing happened. Next, next, next. What happens in the hairpin? Ah, oh, he spun right behind the trees. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sad that people kind of do the, do this kind of shit in 5k soft. Ah, uh, man, it's it's always the same. <laughs> 5k soft does not mean less crashing. I feel like the cleanest softs are like 4k. 5k, it starts getting too competitive again. Oh, no. Because, like, you know, in a 4K... I don't know. In a in a 4K soft, everyone knows how to race clean. And there's not that desperation of, like, if I don't pass this guy right now, I'm never going to get a chance again. Which is what starts creeping in 5K, 4.5K, stuff like that. Like, 3K... I think 3K softs, even, are the cleanest. 3.5K. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? Oh god, I guess he didn't know he was there. Oh, that was Lena. Lena just drove into him on the straight. A little small bonk. Ah, oh, and then a bigger bonk. That was Lena again. <laughs> Lena wasn't having a great time. In these like 10 seconds or whatever. Shit, it looked pretty hectic though to be fair. 
2.5k soft and anything other than GT3 is usually the cleanest. Okay, yeah. Wonder if it was damage. Nah, I think it was just not leaving enough space here. I don't know, she might have been okay. It doesn't look like there is that much damage on. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Wait, what's going on over here? Is that they're having the same crash? Okay, that's on the outside portion, I think. I think the portion on the inside deserves a bit of space. A bit of netcode as well, though. And then they slide into Paulina. <laughs> and this guy, this guy, I feel like everyone else is kind of understandable. This guy, I think. Could have done a little bit better here. <laughs> it's Anthony Fish. <laughs> Paulina, yeah. Ah, uh, I'm afraid Antonio could have done a little bit better in this situation. He just accelerates into it, really, doesn't he? He accelerates beyond the braking point. Hang on, the braking point. The he, he, the braking point is like, it's like here in GTs, isn't it? I swear, maybe not. <laughs> that was just never gonna fucking work, man. <laughs> oh no. Yellow flag equals send. Send is the only way. Let's just let's just watch all this unfold from blimp. Okay. So move on to him on the straight. Didn't see him probably. Let me go down here. Catch a GT3, pass him. Turn into him just a little bit too much. Spun around. At the same time, these two guys are doing the exact same thing. And uh just <laughs> It's just unlucky, man. There's not really much you can do. Uh, okay. What have we got here? Just a little uh, netcode hit. And then not a very good send by the LMP2. Gonna have to spin turn that somehow. Uh, okay, that's fine. Oh, it's Ed and Senna. I didn't see it was Ed and Senna. He definitely went for the gap. Curb on the rise of the breaking point. Yeah, so he he we went in too deep. He went in too deep even for like a normal line. Okay, whatever. Don't be too hard on him. He obviously crashed. Um, then these guys are all just phantom hitting the wall. Then we saw this. We'll just have a quick look again since it was that, that it was pretty good. It was pretty good. <laughs> Poor Billy. Down the inside goes the LMP2. Locks the rear. Is that the same guy that did the reverse entry, tried to do the reverse entry pass earlier? I think it was. Greg, I still have to bet and you're losing time against people that you actually race against. What was he saying? Down the inside. Greg, I have to fit and you're losing time against people that you actually race against. Oh, wait, are they, are they on different laps? Yeah, I think so. Well, I don't know. This is a bit awkward. Or are they... Did one pit and the other one didn't? No, they're off of position, so it must be one's pitted and one hasn't. And then they keep going here. No one's really enjoying anything Lena's doing in this race. Poor Lena, man. Flash, 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 flash.
Um, nothing happening there. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. Let's get out of. I've seen a lot of incidents now. They're all starting to look the same. So, oh, it's the full Super Formula race. Uh, I thought it was the fixed one. Uh, what should we do instead? Um, I don't know what I should do. Similar. I think I'll actually no. Let's just do a marbles race. Let's do a marbles race. Let's do another marbles race. Check the Discord. More Discord. Okay. So um, you like it? Okay, I'll check. Um, so which track do we fancy this time? Um, which track is really good for marbles? Um, wait, we were gonna. I was gonna do Le Mans Historic. That was it. Le Mans. Lemons. Um, LMP3. Uh, we're gonna do Marbles Race instead. It's getting a bit late anyway, so. Um, so Marbles on iRacing. Um, how do I do this again? Wait, can I look up a track? My Cadillac. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Um, Le Mans. What's it called? Circuit de. There's too many tracks called Circuit of something. What's it called? Am I here in time for more of that sweet, sweet Mars? Mars? Yes, you are. You are indeed. Um, I'm trying to find the La Sar. Ah, of course, yeah. Circuit. The... <laughs> There's too many doors as well. It's not here. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, I got it. Historic. Okay, let's see. Ranking. No, not ranking. What am I doing? Oh, I was just going to click on it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. So let's find cars that are very, very close on pace. Okay, so there's quite a few down here that are close. Around the three... Uh, oh, the three, the thirty-seven. Oh, we could do the NASCARs versus the GTE. That could be kind of funny. I don't have the next jet, but that's fine. Otherwise, yeah. So to explain for those that didn't see this last time, we find cars that are very similar on pace, and then we put them in a marbles race against each other. Uh, then you get nice dynamics with like overtaking and stuff. There's F3 versus the Xfinity Supra. I think that would actually be really funny. To do F3 versus the Xfinity Supra. It's a little bit more spread out than I thought it would be. Oh, the 40s. Oh, my God, the 40s. The 340s. <gasps> okay, so we got GT3, Ford Mustang, and the Audi 90 GTO. I think that's a good... And the... Oh, no, the Radical is... Uh, the Radical is the wrong... Wrong Radical. Where's the other Radical? The other Radical is probably a lot quicker. Yeah, that one's up there. Okay, so we could do the 40s. Well, there's the Ford GT versus the Mission R. Oh, but it will be in quality mode. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's do the Audi 90 GTO. Okay, here we go. Um, AI Racing, create a roster. Formula 1 and V Multiclass. No, we're making it so that they're very... They're different cars, but they're very similar on pace. Um, so we'll make them all in the single class. So, uh, which cars was it? It was, um, in the 340. And then maybe the GT3 Ferrari as well, actually. 
And there's one second of pace difference between these guys. Okay, so the Audi... Audi 90 GTO. So how many cars are there? One, two, three, four, five. So we'll put 10 in of each. No. Uh, five. No, there's six. No, there are five. There are five. Um, Oh, but the, pro the Riley prototype isn't there either, so it'll probably be 15 cars each. 15 cars each, yeah. So the Audi versus the Ford Mustang. The supercar Mustang. Put 15 of those in. Then we get the M4 GT3. Fifteen of those. This is gonna be so good, man. And then the Ferrari GT3 as well. Yeah, whatever. Let's get the Ferrari GT4, GT3 in there as well. It's like a Forza lobby, yeah. But it's all been BOP'd. So it's the. Yeah, GT3 Evo 2020, this is the one. The 15. Okay, good. Perfect. Okay. And now we make it more super crashy. Aggression, optimism, no smoothness, super old, pick crew skill, zero, riskiness, 100%. Okay. Add that to all roster. Save it. I called it Le Mans. Okay, good. Now. Let's set this bad boy up. This is going to be so good, man. <laughs> okay, go guys. Exclamation mark race if you want to enter. So uh, again, this is, um, this, is a, um, this is only for Twitch viewers. I don't know how many YouTube viewers I have now. Probably still not shit loads but if you want to enter the race go on twitch exclamation mark race so this is an ai race with chats names and um it's a uh yeah you type exclamation mark race and then you um then you see how it goes sit back and enjoy the carnage everyone's welcome anyone new new viewers old viewers not new viewers old viewers new viewers or regulars that's the one. That's the word I was looking for. Um, so we'll do Le Mans Historic. Historic. So. Uh, circuit of the 24 hours of Le Mans. Perfect. Calling me old. Old viewer. Regular. Regulars. The one YouTube viewer. Is there one YouTube viewer? <laughs> Hi, YouTube. How's it going, YouTube viewer? Hey, look, I got recommended to myself. Look, that's my stream. Look at that. That's crazy. Three people watching. Thank you very much. Psh. There's more people waiting for Basic Ollie's stream than watching Hurry my stream where race. actually things are Type happening. Exclamation mark race now. Do it or else. Such a scam, dude. The YouTube algorithm scamming me, man. Okay, Ollie has like 40,000 more subscribers than me. Um, so that's a thing. Um, but anyway, exclamation mark race if you want to enter. The the one YouTube viewer in the race. I mean, re the yeah. I I we need one that says YouTube viewers. And it needs to it needs to have like a a YouTube livery on it. That'd be great. I don't know how that's how we could make that possible though. Um. So anyway, the exclamation mark race still open, I think. We need an under your exclamation mark race overlay that says, except YouTube viewers get fucked. <laughs> no. You were, except that you, except the guy watching on YouTube. You guys are being way too hostile to my, all my YouTube viewers, man. What's up, YouTube? 
Go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe if you like my content. Is there no one there anymore? Did they all leave? I had three people watching like 10 seconds ago. Um, right, but registration is very close to closing. There's LFS. Let's go LFS. What a guy. What a guy. Writing in my dead chat. Registration is now closed. Oh, wait. I can't put that on. Um, okay. So that is all done. We're going to reset the UI. Turn all this shit off. I mean, so AI racing. So this should be a good one. I'm looking forward to this, man. This is, I think this is a great little format that I found here. AI opponents. So it's not Lime Rock Marbles. Now it's going to be Limon Marbles. So we have Audi 90 GTO, Supercars, Ford Mustang. Okay, there's no Ferraris in here, but that's fine. My car, I'll just make it. Oh, wait, what was it? It was. I'll just put the Audi on. Just so we save a few resources. Not going to be huge. Standing start. Weather is hot. I mean, three laps. It's gonna be 39 cars in this race. Boogity, 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 boogity. <laughs> okay. This should be fun. This should be fun. Oh, the first one was so fun as well. All right, these are your car colors. Same as your Twitch chat color. Twitch chat color. Uh, we got rest chat down here. Uh, red, white, and blue. Very patriotic for a lot, like 90% of the world's countries. 23% um, skill AMSR, for Aomic. You have to make it's near the back of the grid. Content if you want to be a YouTuber. We really need some good clickbait thumbnails. There you go. This should be good for emotes as well. Run through every emotion. Um, Kran's there. Uh, he's got low skill, but that's not going to affect his uh, race pace. It's going to affect his um, his qualifying position. Um, same with everyone else. So uh, these guys, so let's see. These guys are on the Audis up until uh, here, until Maverick. Then all these guys under Maverick until um, until Sean underscore are in the BMW. Oh, there's only two cars. There's only three. Okay, there's three cars, yeah. So it's GT3 versus supercars versus classic IMSA. Let's see who will come out on top. It's going to be exciting. V8 motor. V8 motor. V8 motor, buddy. Okay, here we go. So. So there's a couple of Audis. Come on, fill in there in 30th. So there's a supercar. A yeah. lot of Audis here. Where are the GTs? None of the GTs qualified well, Sag. So, on pole position, it's Maverick N21, followed by Flingram. Or Fingram? Fingram? Is that an L? Flingram? Um, in second place. Third place, starting is Blue Nonagon with Sean underscore alongside him on the second row. Third row consists of Christmas Denier in the Audi and Marcus Fay also in the Audi. Then we got an all-Mustang third row with Athlean Action and T-Nevs uh, with Barside and Red Eye rounding out the top 10 on the grid. Then we got in Jay's Brain, Lemonhead, Kachow, and Northern Monkey, the first BMW. Uh, uh, Northern Monkey in the fir first BMW. I don't know why all, the, why all the BMWs are so far back. I guess there's not that many of them. Then we've got Hashim Hamoud in 15th with Lipton T. Is 16th and 17th. Loose Melon Cans. Bronze Swan and New Lambda round out the top uh, 20 starters. Where is Rest of Chat? Did I see him? Oh, there's Rest of Chat. He's in a BMW. Uh, white, as we said, very patriotic livery for most of the world's countries. Right there. So, uh, But let's get this race started. Let's get this starty parted. So here we go. 
So we got Flingram, okay. Blue Nonagon, but it's Maverick on the front row with Fling go, go, go. Flingram, Two Flingram. Left. And off they go. Huge grid. And away they go. Great start from all the Audis, of course, with that four-wheel drive. I can't find Maverick there. Uh, pulling away. And uh, Christmas Denier makes it up into second place already. We got the supercar struggling a little bit. The Audis look like they're really dominating at this point with Marcus Fay weaving his way through the uh, the chicane. He's going to get better traction onto uh, under the bridge, but he's not quite going to get it to work. Looks like the supercars have slightly better top speed. Is he going to make it around the outside? Not quite. Let's go side by side through this whole section. The Audi, the Audi finally coming out on top of Marcus Fay. But up in the lead is Maverick from Christmas Denied. And then third place, Marcus Fay. Flingram down to fourth place. And Blue Nonagon uh, down to fifth. Sean Underscore down to sixth place. Then it's in Jay's brain in the Audi. Great start system, four-wheel drive there. But let's see now as they get onto the straight, who's going to be superior. Looks like the uh, supercars are way faster on the straight. Look at that. Passing the Audi like it's standing still. Marcus Fay with no response. And we're going to get more. Let's see if the uh, if this the these cup blue Nonagon is going to catch the leaders. That's F F Fingram. Oh my God! Look at that. Absolutely left for dead on the straight. Sean underscore up into second place with blue Nonagon leading the way. Now we got Flingram back up into third place. Now Maverick and Christmas Denier are going to have to make it all back on the straight. Uh, in the corners, I mean. Athlete in action might even have a go here with Teen Evs coming up also. So it's interesting. Look at that. Look at that top speed difference. That is insane. Huge difference there. And we got more shuffling here. We got a slow moving BMW just under the standings chart there. What happened here? Huge dramas. Northern Monkey has been in some sort of incident, it seems. Oh, through the right hander. Oh, they just touched and he's hard into the wall. Northern Monkey. And cans coming together there. As we go back to live images now. Huge lead for the supercars. Blue Nonagon and Sean Underscore battling for the lead. With Blue Not, uh, with F Fingram. Still don't know how to say his name. Uh, holding on as they go into Le Mans for the first time. And uh, Blue Nonagon takes the lead from Sean with uh, Fingram. Fingram, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Fingram going uh, going through. But now the Audis. The Audis are catching up. You can see him coming out, pulling out. That's uh, Maverick, 21, getting past Teen Evs. And Christmas Denier with better traction. But now the supercar's top speed is coming back. But uh, it looks like Teen Evs is boxed in a little bit here. And the Audis are coming back. Maverick. It's going to try and catch through the Porsche curves. It's going to be huge speed differential, surely. You see the supercars having their own battle there in the lead, but the Audis are closing in. I guess it's not a huge difference through the high speed. It's more through the, the, the exits and the slow speed stuff. Interesting paint schemes. Yeah, well, they're all, they're all just AI generated. So anyway, Blue Nonagon, is he going to lead the first lap of the race? Here come the Audis, though. Maverick, yeah. Sean underscore is going to slot in behind. Sends the Ford chicane for the first time. Very sideways there for Fingram. Figured it out. I got it right now. A great traction from the BMWs. And Maverick is going to pull up alongside as they head down towards t the turn one. The turn one. Slotting in ahead. But surely it's a hopeless thing now for the Audis. So they need to pass these guys in the corners. And they're running out of corners before that massive long straight. It's just going to put the supercars back in front. And there goes Maverick down the inside. He knows how important that move is. Oh, very sideways from Sean. Nearly lost it there. As Maverick just has to get this move done here if he has any chance of winning this race. Is he going to go for the inside there? No, he thinks better of it. And uh, that he's not going to catch the lead this lap round. So it looks like the Ford is the better car probably to be Arsenal in overall. In sector two. There is yet another small green man walking across the racer track. How do you working together? As, yeah, here we go. 
the superior straight line of the supercars just leaves leaves the Audis with nothing they can do on the straight Maverick just chilling here but he's going to get passed by Fingram Uh, with Marcus Faye. Oh, is he going to block the track? That's actually a smart move from the Audis there. They block the track. Now none of the... Oh, Athlete in action. He is going to make it three wide. Just about. There he goes. Got Maverick. With T-Nevs. T-Nevs needs to make this move now. If he's going to finish ahead of some Audis here. But really hesitant here. This is going to cost T-Nevs massively in this race. As they head through the Mulsanne kink. Has to make this move now. It's now or never, really. He might do it on the next straight. But uh, Lemonhead also catching up now. They ca they're caught up in this uh, in this train with Marcus Fay and Maverick battling over fifth place. And they're going to get superior traction here. T Nev's left in the dust with uh, Hashem Hamoud in the back trying to make a move on Lemonhead, but Lemonhead's going to start pulling away. Anyway, let's see what the leaders are doing. If this is this three-car battle for the lead. Looks like the Audis are absolutely helpless here. Since they can't get through the, uh, the Mustangs fast enough to make any real difference. So, Fingram leading from Blue Nonagon. Sean underscore trying the outside. He's going to turn into the inside. The only chance the Audis have is if these guys' tyres go off. And they all crash in the Ford chicane on the final lap. They did see a little bit of sideways action from these guys. But uh, Fingram in P1. Got a bit of a gap now to Sean underscore after that battling with Sean and Blue Nonagon. And instead of working together, Blue Nonagon's going to try the insides. The Porsche curves is going to leave a huge gap if he starts going. Oh, no. They need to work together. Okay, backed out. But it did cost them a little bit of time. We've got Athlete in action catching up to these guys now. And then we've got the train of Audis with Marcus Fay, Maverick, and Christmas Denier. Followed by T Nevs, Hashem Hamoud, and Lemon, Lemonhead for, uh, in the top 10 at the moment. So the Audi train, here it comes. How far up will it get? Might catch Athlete in action. They need to get him before the, the Forge chicane, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen for them as they head into the Forge chicane. Um, for the second hour three times and uh, they will look pretty sensible and Marcus Faye is going to get the traction here pass Athlete in action be interesting to see uh, it doesn't quite get him before the lines that will be crucial for the last lap as the, uh, the speed somewhat equalizes the head down into turn one and Maverick needs to pass Athlete in action now if he has any chance of, uh, of of keeping with Marcus Fay. Marcus Fay is going to get ahead. Oh, here we go. There's a there's really separated here. Blue Nonagon and uh, Sean Underscore have lost a lot of time there. And Marcus Fay really getting stuck in here. Big Wangs and them supercars. Oh, he's going to try the inside into touch Rouge. I thought they were going to touch there. He really wanted to get that one done. He knows the the leader is going to get away on this straight he knows they're all going to make make a big gap to him caution in sector 2 is a small green man oh no caution in sector 2 there is yet another small green man walking across the race track okay so this track is maybe a little bit too too segmented with the straight lines and the uh, and the corners because it does look like it's pretty much impossible to win this race in an Audi. Thanks to the dynamics of the straight line. Thanks for the bits though. Anyway, we got the uh, finger ramp. P1. Blue Nonagon. Sean underscore. Blue Nonagon, conversely, controversially perhaps, has chosen a purple car. Which really confuses me a lot. Since it, it, there's blue in the name. But here we go. They're going to go three wide down into the Mulsanne corner. Oh, God. Is this going to work out? They're definitely going to give it a go. Oh, wow. Nearly crashing. Nearly touching. They've just about made it. That's pretty good driving by the AI, I must say. And now it's a four-car battle for the lead. The Audis are all the way back here. Does not look like the Audis will get a chance here. Lemon head up into P5. So here we go. The four-car battle for the win. Who's it going to be? Short underscore. 
and Blue Nonagon are the two at the front of this. Followed closely by Fingram and Athlete in action. And surely one of these is going to be the winner of the race. This is going to be Blue Nonagon around the outside through Le Mans. Take, going to take the inside into the left hand bit. Oh, Sean underscores lost a lot of time there. Fingram trying to make his way <laughs> around the outside as they head into Arnage. Oh, Sean was very, very lenient on the exit space there. And surely that, that must have given Blue Nonagon just enough breathing room to pull away and win this race. But it's not over yet. Fingram. I can't say his fucking name. Fingrom. Graham is there. And they're going side by side into the Porsche curves. Who's going to get the best? Oh, Sean underscore gets past. Now Athlete in action wants some action here. It's a little bit wide through the Porsche curves. Oh, that's a deep rumble from those cars. And that looks like that's handled. Blue Nonagon is leading. Surely going to win this race further back the Audis they're catching they're catching but it's not going to be enough it looks like they are all just a little bit too late to catch the supercar train Blue Nonagon coming through the, the Ford chicane for the final time no dramas and it's going to be Blue Nonagon taking the win here from Sean underscore Fingram and Athlete in action the first Audi was Marcus Faye from Maverick Christmas Denier then it was Hashim Hamoud Lemonhead and T Nevs. Was that the top 10? That looks like that was the top 10. Something happened. Lipton T. A big crash for Lipton T and so on further back. Uh, 37. Car number 37. What happened here? Looks like there was a big shake up at some point on this track. Someone stopped there. Now, was it in the first, first part of the lap? Oh, that was the issue. There's big issues here for Lipton T. BMWs forgot to use low down force. Yeah, they must have. Where are the BMWs, man? They're nowhere. Oh, no. Lipton T just went the wrong way. Where are the BMWs? The BMWs are absolutely nowhere. I forgot there was even BMWs in this race. There, there's one. Jacob Simmons. And uh, that's not gone. That's not gone the BMW way at all. The fuck? Jacob was the highest BMW in this race at P22. So they had good, good, uh, good speed in the corners, but just nothing on the straights. Let's see how much they pull away. Wow. <laughs> yeah, not ideal. But uh, anyway, the winner of the race, Blue Nonagon. Where is he? Fantastic drive from Blue Nonagon. Fantastic there. That was the move that won the race. Sean underscore in second with Fingram third on the podium. They made Athlete in action trying to get his nose in there, but it wasn't quite enough. Then the first Audi, Marcus Fay. Um, with, uh, what happened to Lemonhead? Lemonhead had issues. Oh, he was just passed by all the Audis. Nothing he could do. Superior traction in the Audis. King of the Bimmers. Scammed again. Sorry, right, Jacob. You won the Bimmers. All right, I'll try. I'll try track with a uh, with a little bit less um, variance on the straights. I thought it'd be more fun, but it is. It is very one-sided on the straight, and then and then in the corners. So, uh, oh, GG's anyone? Blue Nonagon with the win. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can I want to do one more? I think we'll do one more. Um. I'll find a track. So what's a good track for marbles? So I thought they'd crash in the Ford Chicane as well because the marbles do like to do that. The AI. Figure eight. <laughs> I don't know. It could be quite fun. Um, let's have a look. What we got? Um, what are the good tracks? So Lime Rock was great. We already did Lime Rock. Um, we could do Road... Oh, Road Atlanta Club. Road Atlanta Club. Let's do it. Road Atlanta Club will be amazing. Yes. Road Atlanta Club. All right. This is going to be mentally amazing. So a lot of close cars here, I see. The VW Beetle doesn't have AI. 
and that's a GT3, so that's no point. Oh, a lot of lot, lot of cars in the one eights, uh, but they're GT3, GT1. Mm. Couple in the sevens. Lime Rock's always chaos. Lime Rock, we already did Lime Rock. It was good. Mid Ohio. I think we, we'll do we'll do um, Road Atlanta Club. For those of you who don't know Road Atlanta Club, you're you're gonna love it. A lot of twenties here. So that's the Toyota GR86, the Audi TCR, the Formula Ford, and the Jetta, and the F4. Does the Jetta have AI or no? Actually, we might do the does the, the TCR has, doesn't it? Okay, so the GR86 might be a bit OP actually. Why is the GR86 quicker than TCR? I guess it's better than the corners. All right. <laughs> All right, so these these are the cars we're going for. The FIA F4. FIA F4 is actually... Uh, it's it's tough for a track like this, I think, because it's... The, the most competitive time won't necessarily be the representative. Audi through a four, yeah. Um, okay, we can try it. We can try it. Um, <laughs> okay, it's gonna be fun anyway. Um, create a roster. Right, I'll just run an ad while I'm. Actually, no, I won't. I'll run an ad later. Um, what are you doing? Just turned in. Ad car. So what was it? It was the. Audi? Does the TCR have... Yes, it does. Oh, yes. No, what's going to be the best car? Let's get the F4 in, because I definitely want the F4. F4. Uh, so how many cars? It's four cars, so it's 15 each. I don't know how many entries we're going to get, so there might be one missing. Let's do 10 each, actually. To begin with. Um, so F4. Jetta. Is the Jetta got AI? Oh, it does. It does. Let's go. Ten Jettas. <laughs> okay, this is going to be great. This is going to be great. Uh, then, then the rate. And then... Uh, what was the last one? The TCR, wasn't it? I didn't do the TCR. TCR. Ten of those. And then... Um, we should add a couple more of those. Wait, 20. Then we'll do five of these. It's just I'm doing it in this order because then it's uh, more likely for every car to be in. Might be a bit random, but it does make sense, I promise. F4. And what was the last one I haven't done again? That was the Ford. Okay, perfect. Save that. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Purple Nonagon. Or you could just change your, 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 your Twitch thing. All right, so I'll see you, man. Wait, what did I... What, the fuck, what did I call it? Hang on. Was it just... Oh, no, it was Rattle. That was it. Um, silly. Okay, go. Yes, boys, let's go. Enter. Exclamation mark race to enter. Again, if you're on YouTube, sorry, it only works if you're on Twitch. It's about exclamation mark race. But we do have a rest of chat for those of you guys who don't get to sign up. So it's basically an AI race with chat's names. If you want to be in there, you write exclamation mark race. If you're on Twitch. Which most people will be. I mean, I don't know. It's my first stream on YouTube. Hi, YouTube, if anyone's there. Um, 
spending your time on a busy work day. Exactly, man. Exactly, dude. Exactly. Okay, so Road Atlanta Club layout is amazing. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's horrendous. It's a terrible, terrible little circuit. And uh, we get to run... Yeah, I don't know. It'll be fun. It's going to be great. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> why are you why are you guys being so so uh hostile man Just... youtube's not that bad um no the gnome is nice yeah so exclamation mark race if you want to get in it's uh, an AI race at Road Atlanta with a lot of different cars. They should all be pretty much the same speed though, so it should be a fun one. Um, just gonna make my car F4. We're gonna have your guys' names in the race, if you're right, exclamation mark race. Uh, we're gonna have, how many laps? Six laps, I think. About a minute a lap, so we could do seven. Um, yes, boys, let's go. Get your entries in, boys. Sean, YouTube viewer. Let's go, Sean. YouTube viewer. Look at that emote. The hand. Certified YouTube emote. Now there are two. Fantastic. Love to see it. <laughs> you love to see it. Yes. Yes. Exclamation mark race, I'm gonna get in as well. More the merry guys. New viewers welcome as well. Exclamation mark race is an AI race with the chat names. Look at those YouTube emotes, man. They're so weird. Um Okay, not long left until this is all done. It's done. It's done. It's over. It's over. It's over. And that off. Um, cool. Reset this. Disgusting YouTube viewers. <laughs> Um, so we do single race, Road Atlanta, yes, let's get the right one up, so what is this track, it was Rattle, Rattle Marbles, okay, we got 39 signups, that is almost perfect for the uh, distribution of cars, so um, that's wonderful. Start me last. Seven laps. Let's make it a nice round eight, actually. Okay. Let's go. Look at this horrible, horrible layout. It's going to be glorious. Horrible. Road Lancer, one of the best tracks in the world. And look at what they've done to it. Look at what they've done to it. Horrible. Should not be allowed. Winner of the race gets banned. Um, so, oh no, it looks like all the, um, it looks like the Jetta doesn't work for the, the color. So every Jetta is going to be black. It's going to be extremely confusing. Uh, we need that fixed. Hopefully I racing soon. That'll be great. Um, yes, boys. So these are your Twitch chat colors. These are your car colors. Same as your Twitch chat Um, I can't represent the streamer. Get out of here, you bastards. Um, rest of the chat down here. Blue and white. Uh, Going to be starting near the back in a Audi TCR. Look at all these cars. So there's 10 of each car. Apart from there's only um, nine Audis. So it's going to work out pretty nicely. Uh, we're just going to snooze the ads. Don't want any ads. Okay, I'm good. Um, so let's go. Let's see who's on pole position. Oh my god, look at this grid. It looks so cursed, man. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I love it already. I love it already. Look at this. Look at this grid. 
So on pole position, we got New Lambda in the TCR. He's going to get a horrendous start and absolutely bomb down to about P10 because all these Formula cars who have clearly superior starts like uh, me. Ah, I'm up P2. This has got a good chance for me. And LFS MX in, the, uh, in, the, um, in that car, the, uh, the Ford. Going to absolutely rocket past this front-wheel drive abomination. Uh, off the start. Jerome Jadar also going to get a horrible start here. He's in all the Jettas look like they have the same livery, unfortunately. But Jerome is alongside Klaus the Bull um, with Aomic in the TCR. Then we got Corn Dog and Jacob Simmons and Peregrine all going to be trying to avoid this wall of, uh, <laughs> of touring cars out of it at the start. And then Tech Car rounding out the top 10 behind that with Lemonhead. In 11th with Red Eye, Ooglath, Maverick, Plop Up, Crikey George, Real Fake Door Salesman, Kachow in the VW, Toheach, and Peewood Flyer running at the top 20. Where is Resta Chat? Resta Chat seems to be having some bad grid spots today. There he is. Resta Chat. There's Resta Chat. Uh, number 78, Audi, TCR, white and blue. For those of you guys who didn't get to sign up. Um, let's go. Let's see how this... <laughs> oh, I love this new format. Let's see if this is going to be a good race. Hope it will be. Before so, the, track temp is 33. the yeah, worst temp layout is of Road Atlanta. Celsius. Probably worst layout in the game. We've got New Lambda on pole position. Who's going to get off better? Green sure, it's Charles definitely going to be me. I'm definitely going to get a better start. Although that is a pretty good TCR start. Much better than I expected. But there I go, up into P1. Let's go me. New Lambda though getting up to speed potentially. As LFS MX in the Ray. Doing uh, just sweeping around the outside of Aomic. As we get all kinds of shenanigans going on in the middle of the pack. Cars all over the place. There's tons of white jetters as well. Just road blocking every, absolutely everybody. As we got Peregrine with a spin. Oh and he's been twatted by, uh, by Jerome. And I'm off, for fuck's sake. Off the lead, for God's sake. How did that happen? Come on, man. You had one job. Just don't spin in the fucking... Uh, you hit the, hit the glitch trampoline thing. So anyway, it's New Lambda in the lead in the TCR. Then it's Aomic, followed by Lemonhead in a Formula 4. Then there's a Ray Formula 4 de in fourth. There's a huge field spread already. Jerome J. Dot. Um, first Jetta. Uh, followed by Plop Op. And then a bit of a battle here. Oh, God. Getting a bit spicy here. I'm surprised the Jetta has the same pace as the four Miller 4 around here. That makes zero sense, I swear. That must just have been people not sending representative lap times. Uh, so the <laughs> four guys in the Jettas just getting overtaken. Jacob Simmons making his way through there up into seventh place with Toheach uh, making his way through as well. Jerome J. Dot. Falling like a stone. But here we go. Battle for the lead. New Lambda and Lemonhead. Who's going to get it? Oh, God. Lemonhead hit that little uh, little glitch bump. And uh, they were snaking their way down the hill now through those horrible, horrible S's. And it's super close now. But Lemonhead, I think, surely must have a little bit more top speed than the Formula 4. Otherwise, how is this at all represented? There goes Lemonhead. Lemonhead through into P1. P1 for Lemonhead. New Lambda relegated to P2. Great camera work. Thank you. Now, surely Lemonhead is going to disappear into the distance, but he might hit the landmine in turn three and uh, everything be for naught. New Lambda going through. Aomic in third. Then we got Plop Up in uh, fourth with Toe HG. Fifth. They've all spread out so much, it's crazy. Jacob Simmons making his way through there now. Craig, and here is here is the here's the the, uh, the 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 cork in the bottle. Um, these two guys rest the chat, fighting tooth and nail with Jerome J. Dot, absolutely sending it. And around the outside goes McFillin. Yeah, the idea was these were meant to be pretty even on pace, but it just looks like no one set a good lap time in the Formula Four cars. 
because uh, these Formula 4s are absolutely demolishing the rest of the field. Oh, no, Plop off has spun. Plop off has spun out of the top five. And that's a huge, huge problem. Although, having said all this, New Lambda's actually kind of keeping up with Lemonhead here. What happened to Lemonhead? Did he have a spin in the chicane or... Oh, he did, he did. <laughs> I was going to say. So they're very vulnerable to that random spin. So maybe it is pretty balanced after all. Well, they can do a 360 and rejoin and nothing happened to them. So New Lambda. Now we got Tohichi and Greg006. They're going to pass Aomic. Rely on all the open wheelers spinning the chicanes. That is, that is the hope. That's the only hope these TCRs have of having a semi-decent result. Um, so Greg here is up 20, uh, 25 places. Greg up 25. Okay, let's see the leader, Lemonhead. Oh, he's going to hit that again. Oh, my God. Okay, it is pretty balanced because these Formula 4s cannot navigate that chicane safely unless they're behind a TCR. He's going to rejoin. Surely, New Lambda's going to have a run. Not quite, not quite. And Lemonhead has to, Lemonhead sneaks through, rejoins just in time. And Tohichi and Greg006 are surely going to pass New Lambda as he heads up through the cut through for the short part of the circuit on this horrible, horrible club layout that we have. Oh, no. Greg does not make his way through. And uh, New Lambda. New Lambda is still holding on ahead of Greg. That's going to really compromise Greg's race. Although if he doesn't get past him, he's going to pass him out of here, though, I think, surely. And Aomic looking on behind. But here we go. Greg with better traction, less weight, more downforce. Literally everything better than the TCR. Finally gets, gets past New Lambda. But let's see what the leaders are doing. So Lemonhead's getting caught here by Tohich G. Lemonhead does have a little bit of front wing damage there sustained from that random landmine in turn, uh, turn three. Fastest so here we go. Or turn Lemonhead four or whatever it is. There, bonk. Oh, no. Lemonhead's lost control and so has Tohich G. But Tohich with a nice 360. But Lemonhead gets going first. Greg goes around again. And here's New Lambda. New Lambda makes it. <laughs> I can't believe it's so balanced in this way that's insane okay so Lemonhead still leads from Greg New Lambda in third Aomic fourth and a huge huge just mess down here McFillin Tohichi Nakiru I haven't seen him all, all day but he was up 21 places but now he's going down and a uh, big mess so uh, who's, who's the biggest mover at the moment it's Bark 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 up 33 places in the Formula 4 um and buck, buck, buck up to uh, sixth place in this race. So Lemonhead heading on to lap six out of eight. Just needs one more corner and he'll be on lap six. Jacob Simmons died. No, Jacob. This is fine. Wait, what? You were leading? Wait, hang on. I missed that. No, yeah, Lemonhead's leading. Um, Greg in second. So let's see what happens this time when they hit that. Let's take a different camera angle this time. Let's see, more more speed, lower down to the ground here. Bonk, he hits it. He spins it. Oh, Greg's in an awkward spot here. He's pointing the wrong way. So is Lemonhead. Lemonhead gets going, though. Greg is not going to get going. That's New Lambda through. New Lambda through. He's hoping that the same thing happens to Lemonhead, but they're so close. The amount of time that Lemonhead takes to recover is exactly how much quicker he is around the rest of the lap. So it's so close, but uh, that's unfortunate for Greg. Where is Greg? Oh, we have an upside-down car. How the hell has that even happened? Maverick is upside down. What's happened here? Uh, okay. There's some, some issues there. Um, let's just get another replay of that. I think that was pretty pretty interesting. <laughs> interesting physics. Um, a little bit top heavy, these Formula Fords. They're quite known for that. Um, anyway back to live images where is the leader there lemonhead in the lead on his penultimate lap now new lambda in second followed by aomic and then third uh, fourth place it's undead monarch so let us see this time lemonhead going up the hill through the s's is he gonna make it this time he bonks it 
spins it, 360s it and keeps it going. That must have been his fastest one yet. You can see Lou Lambda in the background there. He's catching, but it's not going to be enough to take the lead. He really needs Lemonhead to have a big issue on the last lap. Otherwise, he's got no chance of this one. Lemonhead just retired from the race. is hoping for the best. New Lambda second. Aomic, let's see what kind of carnage there is behind Undead Monarch. There's Bark, Bark, Bark. Okay, Greg. And uh, rest of chat up into seventh place. Probably up into sixth now. We've got a spinning McFillin. Um, and uh, Northern Monkey goes through. Sean underscore as well. Nakiru, another spin for Nakiru. And uh, a lot of cars in the pit lane here. See uh, Jerome Jadon making his way through in the Jetta. I haven't seen much of the Jettas. The Jettas are just slow, I think. This was not a good reference. Uh, not a lot of good reference laps set by the uh, the, the uh, Garage 69 or what was it? Garage 61 leaderboard. Anyway, Lemonhead on his final lap now. One more chance for New Lambda to take the win. Lemonhead, one more one big mistake and it's over for the win let's see how it works out oh he might have a chance to, oh no it's sideways oh no oh is he gonna get it going they take looks like he's taking some extra time where's new lambda there's new lambda new lambda takes the lead lemonhead rejoins right in front of Yomik. and the switch for the lead has happened on the final lap although lemonhead might have a chance to gain back on him he does have superior pace and new lambda might get caught behind these jetters is he going to get past the Jetta? That's uh, Hashem Hamoud a lap down. Oh, and crucially, he's got past both of them. Kachow as well. And uh, Lemonhead, he's making the gaps, though. Is he going to be able to pass him out of under the bridge? Out of the horrible keyhole, extra keyhole chicane. Oh, it's so close. It's so close for the win. This is the final lap of the race. New Lambda leads. Lemonhead second. Is he going to get the traction? Surely, New Lambda, he has to defend. Don't let him just take it from you. No, New Lambda, you worked so hard for this. But Lemonhead, oh, he's trying on the outside, but it's not going to be enough. Lemonhead is going to scrape this one. With the last lap, last corner move, Lemonhead wins the race from New Lambda. Then we had Aomic in third, just holding off Undead Monarch. Uh, fifth place, Bark, 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 going to come home in fifth place. Up 34 places, the biggest mover in the race. A huge... A big race there from uh, from Bark 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 with Craig Bridge. Rest of chat there doing really well for those YouTube viewers. <laughs> Northern Monkey, P Wood Flyer, and not in that order. And Sean underscore make the top ten. Fantastic, fantastic action there. You couldn't write it. You couldn't make it up. I mean, we d yeah. I mean, okay. Literally unwritable dramas here. Spin every lap and win challenge completed. Yeah, that was pretty good. Lemonhead up 10 places. Here was the move. The move. The big move here from Lemonhead. With the superior traction. Out drag New Lambda. Coming off the corner. He does have a massively superior car. So it's perhaps not that surprising. But uh, it looked pretty dire when he spun on the last lap. Didn't quite get going. But he got it done. Lemonhead, congratulations on the win for Lemonhead. Oh, wonderful. Does it get... Do the AI get incidents? Yeah, they do. Big, most incidents was... Uh, Barside. Barside's been involved in all kinds of dramas. There you go. Lemonhead with the win. New Lambda second and Aomic in the TCRs against all odds. Couldn't quite pull out the win, but did a great job. Undead Monarch finished in fourth place with Bark, Bark, Bark in fifth. Uh, then it was a bunch of Audis. Craig Pritch, Rest of Chat, Northern Monkey... P would fly. Why do I always read Northern Monkey before P would fly? Sean underscore. And then the first Jetta was Klaus the Bull. The Jettas were pretty shit here, so unlucky if you're in a Jetta. I really thought they'd be closer. <laughs> cool. Good race, guys. Thank you for watching today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're on YouTube, smash like, obviously. Destroy the like button with all your might. Uh, and sub and that. And it's been my first YouTube stream. Weird. I don't know how it's gone. I hope it went well. I mean, everyone, you guys seem to enjoy wow, it. Wow, wow, wow. No. Oh, God. Fuck off, Peregrine, okay? Can't, you can't, you just, you just can't believe you. Uh, we're going to raid someone on Twitch.
because that's where I stream mostly. Um, Imsotoxicity. Looks like it's interesting. Um, let's get some music on. God, his quirk still doing the subathon, man. I feel bad for him now. I was watching this morning and it went down to like two minutes. And then it, yeah. Just kept being uh, extended now to three. Wow, 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 wow. Poor guy. Well, poor guy, he's got 4,000 subs, but still, poor guy. If you're on YouTube, why? <laughs> Literally no one here. What? Raid Amaranth? Get away. Um, oh, there's Grand Prix tour thing. The this thing. Good raid, I racing. Fantastic move. Nice stream. Just raid earlier, Alex man. How many people watching? Four hundred. Ah, they're using the shit cane. Why are they doing that? Where's Elgato? Yeah, we can raid Elgato. Where is he? Where is Elgato? Elgato con la pipa. Is he not here? There he is. Bam. Ah, oh, we'll raid Elgato. He's in this race. He's a pro. Somehow yeah, scraped straight. a pro license. <laughs> but, um... Uh, yeah, man. A pro. At least he's not 2.5k pro like uh, Charlie ahead of him. I was a 2.5k oh, guy pro. I didn't really think about this. So I will send you guys over to Elgato. He's doing the uh, he's doing the pro race right now. And uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy Elgato's stream, unless you're on YouTube, in which case, um, don't know. Enjoy the rest of your day, I guess. Enjoy this pro stream from this pro gamer. Let's go. Thank you for watching today, guys. I appreciate you all. Um, I hope the stream didn't have any issues, but it seemed like it was all right for the most part. Stream into two different places. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. Uh, I might be on tomorrow as well. Let's see. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, have fun. And uh, see you when I see you. Otherwise, it'll be Monday. Bye, guys. Oh, it's getting real spicy. Bye, all the YouTube viewers. Bye, all the many YouTube viewers. Bye.